Hey, hello everyone! Welcome back! Oh my goodness. It's been a couple of days. It's been an interesting couple of days, but we're back. We're gaming. Everything is fine. <laughs> Except not really. Um, yeah, there was a hurricane. So, been, it's been a, an interesting couple of days. I hope you're all alright if you're in Florida. I'm okay. My family's okay. Our houses are okay, luckily. Lots of flooding in Orlando, which is a little bit scary because that's sort of unprecedented. Um, I don't think I've ever... I've lived in Orlando my entire life, oh, since I was like four. I've, I've never seen damage like this in Orlando from a hurricane. Um, so it's scary. <laughs> it's been a scary time, um, but luckily my house is okay. My family's okay, so... Um, but yeah, I've, I've never seen it like this in Orlando in my in my entire life. So it's it's really scary. We lost two trees in my yard. <laughs> um, thank God. Well, one of them is the neighbor's tree, but it's kind of in my yard now. <laughs> uh, but thank God it fell that way and not this way towards the house, because they like a big giant oak tree um, fell thankfully towards the street and not towards either of our houses. Um, it's just, like, it's just scary. <laughs> it's really scary. Um, but yeah, I also, down my street, only me and my neighbor lost trees. Um, and again, thankfully, <laughs> that way. And not towards the house. Well, I also lost one in the backyard, but it didn't hit the house. Um, it's in the yard, so. Just, yeah. Fortunately, it didn't touch our houses, so. Um, but anyway. <laughs> We're okay. Oh, we swung that. Um, we are okay. We are okay. And we're gonna do some Sims building today. You hope not the yellow one? Oh, Michelle. The yellow one. <laughs> yeah, the tree that fell in the backyard was the yellow tree. I can show you some pictures. It's not yellow right now. Um, it just flowers like in the winter time, but um, it won't be flowering anymore because it's gone. <laughs> it's in my yard. Um, yeah, it was the yellow tree. So, it's scary. I'll have to show you the pictures, but it looks like the tree, like, twisted off the top. It looks like the, the storm, like, took- Oh, my hair is on my sweater. It looks like the storm, like, took the tree and, like, twisted the top off and knocked it over. It's, like, warped. It's really- It's- It, like, fell- Like, the top half of it is gone, basically. Because the- The other tree that fell, it's, like, roots are out of the ground. But this one that, like, <laughs> the top half got, like, twisted off. Um, it's, it's in my backyard now, so. I don't even know how to deal with that. I'm gonna need to get my dad to help me figure out who to call to get it, like, because I don't even know how to, I don't even know where to begin with that. Like, <laughs> so I've got a tree in my yard that I have to figure out. Um, but yeah, we'll deal with that. It's fine. It's fine, so. <laughs> Oh, anyway, everyone's safe. That's what matters, right? Um, thank you all so much for the subs and stuff, by the way. It's good to see you all. Um, Stripey and Evie and Lena and HK and Amy and Emma and Sunflower and Jamie and Laura and Katie and Rosie and Shadora and Nye and Rosie and Snowy and Charlie and hello there and Sophie and, and Love and Simsy and Jazz and Sarah and Miss and Beth. <laughs> thank you all so much. Um, Brittle and Joe and Neo and Tiny and Bailey and T and Tara and Megan. Thank you all so, 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 so much. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, I hope I didn't miss any of your messages. Um, oh, I don't even have my Sims game open. Let me do that too. All right, here we go, besties, here we go. Um, you're at school? Oh no, I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> um, but I'd say firewood. Yeah, I don't exactly need that, do I? <laughs> no, I don't have anywhere to put that. Um, we're in Florida, so. <laughs> Oh, all right, let me see if I can send some pictures to Dan on Discord so that I can pull some of these up. Um, and I can show you all what we're, what we're working with. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have so many pictures on my phone. Oh, this one's funny. <laughs> I'll show you this one. Um, I need to be careful because I don't want to show you anything in the front of my house, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know if I can show you the big tree, the oak tree that fell. But I can show you a picture of me standing next to my yellow tree that's no longer standing up. Um, <laughs> it'll be fun. Let me pull this one up. 
But here was my yellow tree. Um, that's me in a raincoat trying to look sad next to my tree that is a bush now. <laughs> so, but look, we, I feel like we really lucked out. It like fell, you can see it kind of splitting there, but it fell not on this and not on the fence. So it could have been worse. Um, it could, you know, it could have been on the, the hammock thing or on the fence and it's not. Um, so that's nice. Um, you think she can recover? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Let me see if I can find a picture of like what it looks like. Maybe someone here who knows more about trees than I do can, can look at it and tell me what they think. Um, cause I don't know anything about trees. It's possible that we could just get the, the like twisted fallen branches off. Um, and then it's not sending the photo. I'm trying to send the photo to Dan on Discord and it's not send so I can pull it up. But I need, once my, maybe once my dad gets here, once my dad's able to get over here and look at it, maybe he can tell me too, but, um, I don't know. I don't know anything about trees. <laughs> so how am I supposed to know if it's going to be fine or not? I don't know. Um, let's see. I have to, I'm going to try and put it downloading from iCloud. Excuse you. What do you mean? Should I take a screenshot of it? What, why is my phone being weird right now? I'm trying to look at my tree. I literally have so many photos of just trees in my camera roll. I can't even find them. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Tree. I'm back. I'm back. Hope my grandma's house is okay. Oh God. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> no one's been able to be in there yet. No one's, but um, from what the building manager has said, um, flooded my grandma's place. So I don't actually know what it looks like. I haven't seen it. This is what the tree did though. But the thing is, that's like, I mean, you saw what was on the ground. It was like the whole, so I don't know, but po possibly if they cut it like, like that, this is also bent, so. But then it would just be the, I don't know. So I'll get some tree person to come look at it and see. Um, but I don't know. It's not just, the thing is, it's not just like bent branches. It's like the trees on the ground and this bit is still up, <laughs> you know? It's hard to uh, uh, um, explain the scale, but it's not like, it's, a lot of the, the tree is on the floor, but I don't know. I'll get some person who knows about trees to come look at it. A tree person, you know? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, my grandma's house in Naples is totally flooded, so, um, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. You're on your way? Okay, Hope. Thanks, tree person. <laughs> you can come look at it. <laughs> An arborist! Ooh! There you go. Yeah, my grandma wasn't there. Thankfully, um, she wasn't there for the storm. I mean, a lot of people obviously evacuated and stuff, but thankfully my grandma wasn't there. But her condo um, was on the first floor in Naples. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you have seen what's happened to Naples, but um, it's real bad down there, unfortunately. Um, I don't mean to sound like I'm laughing. It's actually not funny at all. Um, but my grandma's place is like flooded, flooded, bad, flooded. So um, it's just unfortunate. So. Um, but anyway, we're gonna play some Sims. <laughs> we're gonna play some Sims. Everything is fine. And <laughs> we just giggle about it, you know, to, to get through it all. So, um, nervous laughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Flower and Fra and Ozzy and Nair and Max and Iteration and Melissa and Jack and 93 and Hollow and AJ and Cece and Kid and Weird and Sage and Greedy and Pam and Blight and oh my God, thank you all for the subs and stuff. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thankfully my grandma is safe. That's what matters, right? Is that she wasn't there, so. Um. <sighs> anyway, I did cry about my grandma's place <laughs> the other day when I got sent. I wish I could show you, but I probably shouldn't. Um, but basically the like building manager was sending pictures from the second floor, like looking down. Um, my grandma's building is like kind of a U shape, basically. Um, and there's like a pool in the middle. The whole building's a pool. <laughs> like the whole the whole building was the pool. The water was like five feet up. Um, my grandma's condo was the pool. Um, so that's nice. 
real waterfront view. Um, Oh my god. It's, I guess, um, the lucky thing is that it's never happened before there. And it happened now. And she wasn't there. So, that's good. That's good, right? Um, she's safe. It hasn't happened before. It's the first time. And considering she's had that place for, since, like, the 80s. I mean, like, um, it's lucky, I suppose. But, um, it just sucks. <laughs> so... Naya, thank you for the t for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. And Lady with the 5 gifted subs. Uh, Coffee and Dee and Shari and Fab and Jelly and Kat and Laura and Katie and... Oh my goodness. Um, Cece and who else? Mile and Casserole and Hattie and Hammer and Schmeegard and Naya and Rhea with the gifted subs and Bard and Sriracha and Joy and Sana and Kaplan and Planet and Marta. And oh god, I'm sorry. I might have missed something. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to read them all, but I don't think I did. Um, thank you all so much. Um... I think we're going to use packs for it, Chang. I haven't decided what I want to build yet. I was kind of trying to look at... I should probably do that next. I was kind of trying to look at some photos and see sort of what I wanted it to look like. Part of the problem that I was having was that I wasn't really sure what the exterior should look like. Because I have a vision for what I want the inside to look like, but I haven't really thought about the exterior. So I thought we could try and find some, like, reference photos or something. Um, and then kind of try and recreate because when i'm talking about a loft i kind of want to build hmm <laughs> sorry let me switch back to the game scene um it's fine i i didn't realize i turned my display capture off i didn't realize that it didn't have the sims capturing um it, it makes it looks like it's worse than it is it just it's trying to, that when it does that it's because it can't see my game and so it's trying to see my switch but my switch isn't on so there isn't anything to see also, it's too sunny in here in the morning. Let me... There. Maybe I won't have sun shining on my face. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> First morning stream. We're figuring it out. <laughs> there was sun shining on my face, Hope. It's reasonable. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm so lucky to have power. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky that my house has power. Because um, I've seen a lot of places in Orlando do not. I'm also very lucky my house didn't flood because down the street it did. <laughs> so, well, not down my street. It's like two blocks away. It's flooded. So, I'm very lucky that that didn't happen to me. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I was thinking about building a, a loft sort of space like this. But the problem is, what on earth should the exterior look like? Do we do something like this? Do we do something like this? I don't know. We'll probably try and wing it, but um, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but I want it to be like open to the bottom floor. This one's got a gold car. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Cammy, Raquel, Pixie, and Shmaney, and Kella, and Cookie, and Unstable, and Cat, and Winter, and Bear with the five different subs. Oh my goodness, thank you all so much. Kat, you're going to London in 18 days? That's so exciting. Um, have the best time. That's so cool. Um, no, PC, I was thinking about that. Like, I just moved here. <laughs> if, imagine, this is the thing also, I really wasn't sure, like, what the power situation would be like, because, so to give some context, like, my townhouse that I lived in before, up until, you know, last week, literally always loses power. Oh, even in like a regular storm, we lose power in that house. That just was the way that it was. Like the power lines there were bad, I guess. Like we just, we always lost power in the townhouse. So like that absolute certainty was going to lose power in the hurricane. But here our power lines are underground. Um, and so I didn't know, like, do they usually lose power here at the new house? I've not lived here before through a storm, so I don't know. Um, and like, for example, my parents' power lines are underground, but like in the last hurricane, they lost power for, for like a week because um, a tornado came through and like mess up all the transformers. So like too bad, so sad, the lines are fine, but like <laughs> the power's not because um, the tornado came through and ruined it. So I, I just really didn't, you never know what to expect. Um, you just never know what to expect with that. It, like it's completely out of anybody's control, right? Like, um, the storm does what the storm wants. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I don't know what to build, so I might just wing it a little um, and kind of see 
how we're feeling. Um, anyway, Allie and Madison and Cammy and Raquel, thank you for the subs again. Um, yeah, Ray, I've seen that. It's scary. It's really scary. Um, I'm glad that they're okay. All right. Um, I did, I did lose my yellow tree, Stormy. <laughs> it is gone. Oh, do I have only the base game installed? Oops, wait, we have to close the game. Sorry, chat. I only have the base game installed right now. We have to re-enable the rest of them. <laughs> um, okay. Tier six. Was that what the hype train says? It just says about to beat your last record to me. They, they changed a bunch of things on Twitch this week. Like, literally so many things on Twitch this week. They changed how the hype trains work. They're, like, trying to phase out bits or something, but ours are still here. I, like, they've been doing a, a bunch of things on Twitch this week. I don't know. It's weird, because I haven't been able to stream much this week, because I moved and then there was a hurricane, so... <laughs> I don't know. Why phase out bits? I think, um, to be perfectly honest with you... I think that they're phasing out bits or wanting to phase out bits because um, Twitch doesn't take a cut of bits or at least not a huge cut of bits. It's a very small cut of bits. And I think they're trying to phase them out to something that they can take more of a cut of. To be completely and perfectly honest with you, I think that they don't like that the, <laughs> the bits are um, as a direct donation to streamers. Um... But that is what I honestly believe is happening. Come on, come back. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, th that's what I think they've been doing. So they've been really on something this week. Twitch doesn't, Twitch isn't profitable. Um, Amazon owns them, so they have some backing. But Twitch itself doesn't make money. Like Twitch is actually bleeding money and has been literally forever. Um, so I, I think that at this point, Amazon is probably like, bestie, you need to start making money. Um, and so they're trying to really push ads and they're like saying we're never gonna increase sub splits. <laughs> and like they've, they've been really on something this week. So, um, but anyway, anyway, um, I don't know where to, I don't know where I wanna build this. <laughs> Anna and Shelby and Glam and Fampy and Ace and Janelle and T and KM and Holly and Rach and Soap and Trapunzel and Grau and Kate. Thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. Um, what's a sub split? So like our, um, our so Twitch pays out like a, a split of subscription money. So when you subscribe, it's $5. The standard split is that Twitch gets 250, the streamer gets 250. Um, and back in the day, some streamers had like higher sub splits. They would like, upgrade your sub split if you had like over 500 sub points for an extended period of time um, to a higher like 70-30 sub split. Um, but they were never very clear about like how you could get that or who would get it. And then they like stopped giving it out and didn't say why. And then last week they were like, actually, um, we're never going to increase your sub splits. <laughs> In fact, the people that have that sub split I think it was like if they make over a hundred thousand dollars a year in sub revenue, so it's like the top, top, top streamer. So it's not going to affect most people, but um, something like if they make over a hundred thousand dollars a year in sub revenue, they're not going to give them the seventy thirty after that hundred thousand. They're going to go back to fifty fifty. So Twitch is basically like cutting revenue from their top, 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 top streamers, um, and then also being like, we're never going to increase anybody else's sub split. <laughs> so everybody had been like, hey. You know, every, every other platform has a better split of revenue. Why doesn't Twitch? You want to increase it? And then they finally addressed it and said, mm, actually, no. <laughs> Hello? Um, so, anyway. Oh, does my... Oh, no. I didn't mean to put... Oh, my God, guys. I'm sorry. My title isn't supposed to say that it's sponsored by AT&T. <laughs> That's only the last hour of the stream. I didn't realize that I saved that. I like set it up and then copy and pasted it so that I could put it there later. The stream's not sponsored yet. That's my bad. It's not supposed to be sponsored to the last hour of the stream. I didn't notice that it was there. Oh, I didn't know what tell me sooner. I mean, you didn't know. Uh, that's not supposed to be there until the last hour of the stream. Sorry. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, that's my bad. I didn't know it was there. 
Um, yeah, take it out of the Y can Y command for now because we don't need it until the last hour. Oopsies. Um, oopsies. Only the last hour. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Miss Melanie and Lyrie and Purple and Kaylee and Lonely and Tilly and Simmer Girl and oh my God, thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff. It's supposed to be a surprise. No, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. I just like the stream's not sponsored until the last hour, so I'm not gonna like talk about them or anything <laughs> until then. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Um, I might do it in San Myshuno, but the lots are kind of big in San Myshuno. It's like 30 by 30. I want a small lot. We could do it in like... Um, oh, maybe Del Sol Valley. The lots are enormous here too. No, I don't like Del Sol Valley. That place sucks. Um... <laughs> Evergreen Harbor? It might make sense out here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Brock, that's supposed to stay. Um, that's, that's right, don't worry. Um, I guess Copperdale has some smaller lots too, but this might be fun. This, like, lot by the water. Right? Can we do a community build? No, I'm gonna build a loft. I kind of have a vision. I've been wanting to build a loft for a couple weeks now, so I think I'm gonna do that. Is this lot still broken? I think it's okay now. I think it's I think it's not broken anymore. It was for a while though. Um, but I think it's okay now. Um, okay. I don't know what it's gonna look like, so <laughs> you're gonna have to just you're just gonna have to uh, bear with me. We'll figure it out. The terrain paint they have is weird. Um, Jim and Lanavia and Toa and Cozy and Crow and Badger and Gabby, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, how is it broken? Oh my god, you would load in, and the world would be a hole. I don't know if you can see, I think this is kind of like a split, like, hole in the ground, like there. But ba and like over there, you see how there's like a cut in the world? Picture that, but it's like everywhere. Like, you'd load in and there was a hole around the lot. <laughs> it was really bizarre. Um, everything was like blue, and the void. Um, but anyway, it's fixed now, so <laughs> I think it's been fixed for a while. All right, this is the front of the lot. Um, I don't know. Let's just wing it, chat. We'll figure it out from there. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like, so we're going to just go for it and see. Pebbles, Mary, Dan, and Mandalorian, thank you for the subs. Um, it's because the game couldn't initialize the neighbor's state, so it was just void. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, chat, did you hear that? It's because the game couldn't initialize the neighbor's state. So it was just void. Yeah. I know, I knew about that. I, I knew what, I knew that. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you, I'm making fun of me for not knowing that. <laughs> I'm build a lot backwards, I'm sorry. I'm gonna build it backwards and then we'll, we'll flip it back around. Because the lighting is better over here. Um, I promise I'm not making fun of you, <laughs> I'm making fun of me. I swear. Um, okay. What time is it there? It's currently 9.20 in the morning. This morning. Um, okay. Oops. That's not really what I wanted it to look like, so maybe I'll make it even smaller. Small is good. Mm. Mm. I don't know, we'll just, we might have to make a lot of adjustments. We're only just beginning. This is only the beginning, friends. Anything could happen. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I really like that. But I don't know if I want it to be like... Maybe I should make it so it's all the way across. Nothing to change, liar. We could do something like that, right? Bulldoze lot kind of day. I might end up bulldozing this, oh my god. I might end up doing that a couple times to this one. Um, That seems to be, oh, I thought I saw my cat, but it was like the sun shining onto the floor. 
I saw like movement. <laughs> it scared me. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. It was not my cat, it was the sun. Yeah, I'll put it on the gallery, Doom. Don't worry, I put all my bills on the gallery, so um, this one is no exception. It will, it will all be on the gallery, I promise. We could probably try and use, like, some of the cool... Oh, why? Why can't you rotate it? Like, what? I hope that column dies, and I, I mean that. I honestly, honestly mean that. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Not to be dramatic, but that one sucks. <laughs> Some of the things in this game are like so unbelievably annoying. Do you know what I mean? Why? 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 <laughs> Oh my god! I don't even know- okay, let me put like... If you put a half wall... No? No, it won't work if I put a half wall. If I put a half wall... I'm really, really irritated by this. <laughs> okay, it's fine. You can raise it up. It's fine. Um, okay, this is going to be the front of the house. So the front needs to be like closer to the front of the lot. How did you do that? The bracket keys where you can like raise objects up. Um, you can do it with the bracket keys. Still annoying though. Um... I'm gonna get like a really, really nice backyard as well. Mark my words. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay. Go away. Something like that, you know? Oh my. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. Um, was it the last loft that I built? Does it? I mean, maybe a little, I'm not sure. Is this house for me? Wow, thank you. Yeah, Maggie, sure. Do you wanna live in it? That's fine. Go for it. I wanna get like some sort of I think if we had an extra balcony space, I think that would be really nice. And maybe I'll put like a ceiling on it. I don't know. I don't know. This is not really um, in my comfort zone. <laughs> um, Heart syrup, that's a good recommendation. Thank you for, for sharing. Um, I'll keep that in mind. And Ben and Maggie and Simply and Tyra and Inquisit and Sky and Unicorn and Tiny and Ma and Rye and Bree and Cassidy and Jay and Kyle. Thank you all for the subs. Oh my goodness. Um, I think this is better. Yeah, that's better. Much improved. Okay. And then we can get... Call oh, I might not be able to do it like this. Never mind, you can't have a lid. You're not allowed. Because <laughs> it looks weird, sorry. <laughs> it looks weird, so you can't have one. Um, should I make this like... Oh, maybe I'll do it like that, so there's a bit more like... The thing is, you say that you can just raise it up like this, but does that, e does that even save on the gallery? That's what I'm not sure about. Um, I guess we'll find out. But what if we did it like this so it was a bit more like... 
you know, we can get some green grass. Just beautiful. I don't know. Is hurricane considered to be sweater weather in Florida? No. <laughs> No, I'm wearing this sweater because I wanted to wear it on stream. I wouldn't wear this outside. This is a stream outfit. Um, not something I would wear outside. Although actually it got really cold out. Well, it was like 60 degrees. It wasn't cold, but for the summertime in Florida, it was really cold. Um, it got kind of cold outside last night after the hurricane passed, um, which was kind of interesting. Um, looks different to the surroundings. Yeah, maybe a little, but that's okay. Doesn't really bother me. <laughs> Um, okay, I think I would like to get eco lifestyle. Um, we could do something like that, maybe? I don't know. Um, so the hurricane doesn't cool on the air? Well, I'm telling you it got kind of cold yesterday after the storm passed, but um, in the past, when this has happened, it is sweltering because it rains so much and then the sun comes out again. Um, and so when it rains so much, then the sun comes out again, as you can probably imagine, it gets extremely humid and extremely hot. So it's really miserable to be without power, especially because it's the air is so thick and so muggy and hot and miserable. Um, like usually I, it's not like this. <laughs> Um, it, it like cooling down last night was really surprising to us. It was not, I had like my windows open. It was nice. Um, real blessing to people who lost power because then it hopefully wasn't as hot inside of their homes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, tro it's tropical here, right? So it's um, different than you would expect. It's weird. Um, the weather is weird. Okay, I want to get a door over here, but I'm not sure which door I want to put to the balcony. I might even use this one. I don't know. I don't know. It might be cool. No. I feel like very, very unsure about this. I don't really know what I want it to look like. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, don't do that. Maybe if I had a platform though. Maybe, that could be nice. This is so weird. I'm probably gonna end up bulldozing it and then starting over again. <laughs> Unless I'm, maybe I'll start to like it, I don't know. I'm so weird about these builds. I changed my mind like so much. No, why does it have that? Don't do that. Why does it have like the white on top? Why would I want that? Okay, that's fine. Come here, there you go. That's better. I kind of like that. It was six degrees earlier in the UK. Yeah, it definitely gets chillier there than it does here. Um, it doesn't get it doesn't get chilly in the summer in Florida. <laughs> in fact, it does the opposite. So, um, the fact that it was a little bit chilly last night after the storm was weird. Uh, Marisa and OK and procrastinating and Evans and spooky and blonde and love for all peoples and desert and Nicole and Kimmy and everybody. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, I wanted to get, I was thinking about doing like some big windows in the back. Although I'm not sure if I like how that looks with this. I don't know. Um, eco lifestyle. Oh, these are cool because they're like angled. Do you wanna try that? That might be kind of fun. I like how it looks from the inside too. I don't know. Seems interesting to me. Um, now this is back again. See, I'm telling you, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, Snake and Cherry and Girls and Av and Nicole, thank you for the subs. Um, all right, I don't know, I don't know. 
And then on the inside, the thing is, I want the inside to be lofted. So it's gonna be, I need to like redo this, but it's gonna look like this basically um, on the inside because I want it to be like open to the downstairs, oops, hence the loft thing. But I want it to be like this, right? Wouldn't that be so cool? Yeah, I know. And then we'll have to hide a bathroom somewhere. I don't really know where. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. Um, do the loft split down the side? That's true. We can also split it like this, but I sort of envisioned it being the back. I think it might be more usable space if we do it like this. Um, Dora, thank you for the six months, by the way. Um, can't get to the balcony right now? You mean to this one? Yeah, because there's no door or stairs, and I this isn't supposed to be an accessible balcony. This one's the one that you can use. This one's only one tile, so I wasn't really planning on putting anything there anyway. I was just gonna put windows. Um, I don't- I didn't really anticipate that one being something that my sims would use, so. Um, it's intentional, I promise. Oops, no, don't like, don't like. Uh, maybe I should use- wait, let me think about this. Maybe I should put the, like, other side. This one. Because I think I like it better when it curves out towards the wall. Right? I don't know. I don't know. We could put plants on the unusual bal unusable balcony, maybe. That's true. That's an idea. But now that you've said that, chat's gonna get it in their head and they're gonna be mean to me if I don't put plants there. So I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. We'll have to see how it looks from the downstairs, but... Um... Okay, what do we think about that? That could be nice. Um... I don't know. And then there would be a staircase, like... Something right here. Maybe I'll make it too wide. I don't know if it needs to be that big, but we'll see. I kind of like that. I don't know. Could be cool. We're actually building in the eco-lifestyle world right now. <laughs> um, it looks cool. Jake and you Desmond and Sam and Darth and Rebecca and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff too, by the way. Um, okay, for the loft portion, do you just put a platform on the second floor? No, so for the loft portion, I built a wall like right here, or you know, one forward, and then you just delete the floor in front of it. Um, it's not actually that complicated, you can just build the wall and then delete the floor. And it totally works. Um, okay, get some lights inside we are going to need to put some sort of i might do the bathroom like right there i don't know this is kind of weird but i feel like it need we need to have a bathroom somewhere and the only other idea that i had was to put it upstairs but then the window is like absolutely enormous and i'm not sure if that's a good thing or not like an enormous window in the bathroom, but that maybe that's okay. We could do like the bed right here and then the enormous window. And we'll just put curtains on it. It's gonna be the back of the house. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably fine, right? <laughs> we can put like a fancy bathtub there in front of the window. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. This is a bit rustier than I thought it was. That's bugging me. I don't want it to be rusty. I don't think I realized that that fence was always rusty. Is there not like a not rusty swatch? No window in the bedroom? We're gonna put windows on the side. I haven't done it yet, friend. I haven't done it yet. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't like this one as much, and I don't. But I don't want it to be rusty. I guess you can't tell from afar that much. That's very annoying to me. 
like very, very annoying to me. There, that's better. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just, we, you know, we did it on purpose. We wanted it to be rusty. No, I don't, I don't know if I like it, so I need to think about that, but. Um, that's cool, I guess. That's fine. I was gonna put the kitchen kind of like, I want the counters to go underneath this, so. Um, it's an aesthetic choice, sure. <laughs> sure, if we just keep telling ourselves that, maybe we'll believe it. Um, I wanted to put the cabinets like underneath this, like I had said, so we'll raise that up a little. Um, and then in the bedroom, it's weird because there's a bathroom or the kitchen is under it, so I don't really want there to be a window under the kitchen or in the kitchen on this wall because I want it to be like, um, I don't know if I like that from the outside or not. <laughs> um, but maybe we could do the TV on this wall underneath the window and the bed will be there. The sliding door from the island from island living. I think it's a bit too wide, Rhea. I thought about it too, but I'm gonna try and use these doors instead. Oh, we don't have a door to the patio. You can't get to the back. <laughs> if I do the kitchen here, you can't get to the back. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's make it bigger. Wait, hang on. I can solve this problem. The balcony can be bigger too, so it's better this way. See? And we can put the door on the side. And that'll be fine. I hate it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I don't like this style of build. This one doesn't even come in like... I don't know, it might be nice. They can walk around? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, Kay and Mass, thank you for the subs, by the way. Good luck to them. Um, I think, um, I don't know, this is probably fine. I'm probably gonna change the counters, but we've got the vision. So kitchen, dining, living, desk, bedroom, bathroom. Hate this though. I might do like smaller windows. Um, What if we did something, that's bigger windows, but they're not, um, they don't come off the wall, you know? It's too many windows. But, I don't really know. I'm gonna come back to that. I don't know if I like this build. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. No, I thank you for the stuff, by the way. Um, the simple square ones from Snowy Escape. Yeah, we could use those, but the Snowy Escape ones are a bit smaller, and this is medium wall height, so I think the Snowy Escape ones might be, um, like, too, I don't know. What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Could put those vertical slats in front of them. That's true. We could try and do something interesting with them. Um, let me look at like all the eco lifestyle decor. I wonder if we were to like try and build. Let me think about this. Wait, pause, pause, pause. This is a different vibe, okay? But what if 
we tried. This looks weird, doesn't it? No, it's weird. I don't like it. Never mind. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Oh, no. We can try and put those, like, on the side of the building. Why is that floating? Oh, my God. It's because of the platform. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This build is gonna make me cry. You can sense I'm going to bulldoze. No, I don't think I'm going to bulldoze. I like the slats, but I don't like them in front of the windows. I like the idea of doing something like that on the side of the building to get like a little bit more, I don't know, pizzazz or whatever. Um, and then maybe we could put like a window like that in the bedroom. And maybe we could try and do like something like this downstairs. It looks cool from the outside. We have to manage to make that look interesting from the inside. But we can try and make that work. I don't know. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at modern builds. I just, I think I just don't like them. Not that I think that like anyone who builds modern houses makes bad houses. I mean that like, I, I hate how this kind of house looks in real life. Like I would never, ever, ever want to live in a house like this in real life. And so when I try and build it in The Sims, I'm like, oh my God, this is ugly. <laughs> You know, like, I just would never, ever choose to live in a house like this, so it's super out of my comfort zone. Um, just out of warm wooden floor and you'll like it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do you mean must be applied on top of room? Shut up. Oh, I wasn't on the right floor. Okay, I understand now. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't on the right floor. That's my bad. Um, okay. I might put some grass over here. I don't know if I like that or not. I have to think about this. Give me time, folks. Give me time. I'll figure it out. Oh my gosh. Let's go into debug and get those, like... Um, oops. I don't need to put on. Show live edit objects. We can get those, like... Um, floor tile pieces. Um, could try and put the back door on the side where the counters are and make a gallery or galley kitchen. I don't know if I want to do a galley kitchen. Obviously we could, you're suggesting that I put the door here and we have like kitchen. I mean, one of the ideas that I had originally when I was first building it was to do like kitchen like this. And then I assume you're suggesting we do like an island here. We could do something like that. Um, this sort of thing bugs me because the counters aren't the same depth. But we can come back to that and think about it in a sec. Um, before I get distracted. Um, but I think I want to get these. And then we could like layer them like this all the way to the front of the house. Um, you know, something like this, something like this, something like this, something like this. See, this is good. It's cool. I like it. Um, and then we can put like, It won't line up the way that I want it to. Because <laughs> um, what I want it to do is have like the square and then it go from there. But that's probably okay. Right? I don't know. We can put, we can just open this gate. Hang on, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second, but. Let me just put the pieces down so I don't have to go back into debug and scroll for them. Um, 
Oh, that's annoying. But look, we can just open this. Like, oh my god, it's not centered. <gasps> Wait. This can be resolved. This is fine. I'll be able to fix it. We can just alt place these so that they look fine. Okay. I think that would be cool. I think that would be interesting and I like it. We just need to do a lot of landscaping to sort of fill it all in. <laughs> um, but that's fine too, we'll get there. It's gonna be beautiful. We'll get some plants, we'll get some trees, we'll blend it all together. Um, I might like try and rotate some of these around. If we just alternate them, that should be fine. Anything that makes it seem like they're not all identical. <laughs> we just gotta make some minor adjustments. That'll be good. That'll be good. Um, okay. Sure, sure. First we've watched since I moved. Oh, nice! I've only streamed a couple times since I moved. I, I streamed, what, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then yesterday I didn't stream because there was a hurricane. Um, and now I'm live now, so. <laughs> um, could put dirt under them. We could do a little bit of dirt terrain paint, yeah. Except right now this is flooring and not terrain, so we can't put ter terrain paint on it. Um, unfortunately. Um, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, okay. That's fine and lovely. Might get a column there that helps split it up a little. Um, I kind of want to like, maybe it's better if it's further over there. Okay, and then I wanted to get a big pool. I'm not sure how big. But something like that might be nice, and then we could do, like, the lounge chairs over here. Where's the cat cam? Friend, I can't have a cat cam on unless my cat is in here. So you see how there's, like, a camera, and there's also a chair that the camera is facing? So we only put the cat cam on, um, when, um, when the cat is in here. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, like, lock her into my room or anything like that, you know? Um, and force her to be on camera or whatever. So if she comes in, then we can have the cat cam on. But if she's not in here, we can't have the cat cam on. Does that make sense? Um, can't have a cat cam with no cat. Exactly. <laughs> um, exactly. Sorry, I got distracted in the middle of me saying that because I got a text, um, from, like, the energy company. My townhouse is gonna be out of power until they anticipate late on, when's October 2nd? Sunday? Late Sunday night. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, that is really, really unfortunate. <laughs> I'm so lucky that this house has underground power lines and did not lose power. Um, that's my old house, yeah, yeah, my old house that I literally just moved out of, like, a couple days ago. Um, I think, I don't know what I want to do with the landscaping yet. Um, I don't know what I want to do with the landscaping yet. Let me look at just getting some furniture in so I can start like getting things together. Um, I think we could use these. That would be nice. Maybe we could, oh, I haven't saved yet either, yikes. Good call. <laughs> Good call. Um, no, the cat hasn't turned the, the sink on again since, since she did it the other day. Which makes me really think that it was an accident. I have no idea how she managed it, but... The, the, we haven't had any random sinks being turned on since the other day when it happened for the first time. Um, so that's lucky. Maybe I don't want to put these here. Maybe I'll try and put them over there. Maybe we can try and get like an outdoor kitchen and bar sort of thing. 
Should I put the pool like right up to the edge? I don't know. Like. It's weird. I don't know what I want. Like it before the edge? Yeah, I don't know. Your cat loves drinking from the faucet? Yeah, this is the thing. My cat has never, ever cared about the faucet. I've even, like, tried to show it to her. and Because, you know, some cats like to drink out of running water. She's never bothered. She never cared. Even when I've tried to show her. I got her one of those, like, cat water fountains. All she ever did was hit it. She never drank out of it. She doesn't care about the, the faucet. <laughs> she never has. Uh, despite my best efforts, it's it's not something that interests her, it seems. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know. I showed it to her. Thought she might like it, but she didn't. Um, okay. Cat doesn't like water? No, 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 no. Doesn't like running water, friend. <laughs> my cat drinks water, but she drinks it out of a bowl. She doesn't care for uh, drinking, like, running water like some cats do. Um... Desert kit? We could use some of the kit stuff, I guess, but doesn't, um, I'm already going to use this, uh, I'm already going to use this stuff from this pack, so. Let me see about getting it, like, ever so slightly further back. I don't know. I don't know. Your cat loves water like she was splashing around in the bathtub? Really? That's kind of cute. I'm, I'm glad that she, um, that she likes it. I like that bar stuff. That's cool. Do we like it like this or should I have put it like further up to the, I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Claire. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Okay, I think, ooh, we could put some cool plants over here. I'm not sure what I want it to look like. Um, that's true, the kit bar does light up in the night. That's, that's true. Maybe, um, I don't know. I don't think I want to use the kit bar though because it doesn't have matching counters. So I'm not sure I want to use it. Um, Okay, maybe, should I put it centered though? Is it better centered as opposed to like up against the edge? Maybe I could put... Isn't that too close to the pool? What, this? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, mm. Those patio counters look hairy. They look hairy. Oh God, <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh no. <laughs> the patio counters look hairy. Okay. Okay. The patio counters look hairy. Like a hairy rug, but for counters. Wow, I've never thought that about them. Um, but that is a absolutely horrifi horrifying way of describing it. <laughs> Just disgusting. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. That's bad. I was gonna say I haven't talked much this morning, but I've been talking for an hour straight, so. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they're supposed to be stone, like stone counters, I assume. Um... I don't know what to do about the... I think this is what I'm kind of struggling with, with the pool. Um, it's that I would like to have there be some landscaping over here, but I don't know like where to put it and also have there be space to access the lounge stuff, you know? 
that's kind of what I'm unsure about. So we can maybe do it like this. The lot looks rotated on the world. Yeah, it's, I'm building it backwards software because the lighting is really bad. This is actually the back of the lot. Um, I'm going to flip it around once we finish. But I wanted the lighting to be good in the front while I was building. So um, move the pool. Oh, we could move the pool. We could also just make the pool huge. Um, I don't think I want it to be huge, though. <laughs> You like the lounge chairs on the grass? We could keep the lounge chairs on grass if you want to. People do that. People also in a house like this might have like loads of lounge chairs. They might get like four. You know? That's kind of fun. I don't think I'll do that though. Maybe I will do that. Do you think I should do that? I don't know where I'd put the umbrella. Would I put it just in the middle of two of them? No, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's nice though. I think that's really... Don't worry, tomatoes. I usually am live until noon. Um, it's only 10 where I am right now, so. Um, becoming a party loft? Maybe a little. <laughs> Um, and then I want to do a table right here, I think. Um, how does this... What about the stuff from the new kit? Um, That, I just don't like, like, where it... I guess I'm gonna rotate the lot around. So let's, this is where it's actually supposed to be. This is the actual back of the house. So we can see how that looks. Um... I think I'm feeling as though this is probably the best. Although I don't like how, oh, I don't like how it looks. I like how it looks here, but I'm not loving how it's looking with the thing being centered now. This, this is why I want to put it like on the lines. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause I think it looks better when it's on the lines like that. Why are you doing it like that? I just tried to get you in the right direction. What do you think about that? No, I don't think it looks good up against the edge. I don't know. The bar is centered on the line. Maybe that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> so, Ava and Wazzy and Megan and, and Jen and Contently and Crystal, thank you for the subs. Um, move the pool to the other side of the yard. You want me to put the pool over there? I guess we could do that. Um, then I could have my landscaping like I wanted in this area. Maybe you're onto something. I could probably make it wider again, too. And then we could have the lounge chairs, like... Yeah, I think that's better. I don't know. That's not... That's right? Okay, sure. I feel like it looks better like that too. We need to, I don't know, this is so, I know I'm being like so picky. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not really sure what I want it to look like, so I, I'm going back and forth a lot. Um, I know the floor is off, I need to, obviously it's off, I need to redo it. Um, but... Maybe, maybe like that would be better now. I want it to be, I know I'm being so silly about this. Um, but I really want the flooring to be like, if I can get it, what I want is for there to be like the four, 
Because you know how there's four tiles? <laughs> what I want is for the four to like line up in the back corner like this. Like this! That's what I want. I think that looks perfect. But I want it to- okay, now I want it to be, I guess, back one. That ruins the front though. Oh my god. We can have it be closer to the front. This is what I want. <laughs> I want the floor to look like this. Do you see that? Do you see- do you understand what I mean? I know it's silly, but that is what I want. Okay, we got there in the end. <laughs> we can be a bit silly. Yeah, we can be silly if we want to about this. It's our build. We can spend ages trying to set it all up. Um, sure. You think we could put an umbrella behind them? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm not sure if I like how it looks. Obviously I need to center it, but I feel like it looks kind of- oh, it's like clipping as well. Maybe not. We thought about between them also, but then we weren't sure about that either. I don't know. I wanted to do the four chairs, but I'm not sure the four chairs is gonna work. It might make more sense just to do the two, like before. Um... Black, that could be good. That could be good. You think it's better with no umbrella? We could do no umbrella, I guess. Um, we got options. Can I build Emma Chamberlain's new house? Oh my gosh, did you all watch? Um, Architectural Digest did a video with Emma Chamberlain's new house. Obviously I watched it. Her house is so fancy. So fancy. Although I forget what she was talking about. But she made a comment about um, how she was like, this is the only thing that I splurged on and I regret about like some little thing, this like little decor thing. And I was sat there thinking like, the only thing you splurged on? Do you see the stuff in your house? What are you talking about? The Oh, it's the cat bed. She bought like a little cat bed and was like, it was, I, there's so many ugly cat furniture pieces. It's the only thing that I splurged on. And okay, so which makes me think, and I, I like Emma Chamberlain, there's no hate to her. But like, <laughs> if, if she considers something a splurge and like a waste of money. But she's probably, think about like all the marble in her house. And how much money she spent on that and like all of her other furniture is like fancy expensive stuff. If that's not a splurge, but the cat bed is a splurge. How much is the cat bed? If you consider the cat bed a splurge. Then how much was the cat bed? <laughs> like, I know she doesn't regret the rest of it, but like, I just, I... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But if, if you consider it a splurge and you regret it, I, I'm picturing, like, in my mind, an expensive cat bed is like a couple hundred dollars. But surely you're not gonna sit there and be like, I regret, regret splurging on the cat bed when I spent $10,000 on a mirror, you know? Like... I don't know. So how much was it? I don't know. I just like, <laughs> it's so silly to me to be talking about a splurge when it's like not really a splurge if everything else in your house is so expensive. Again, I mean, if everything, it's, it's, it's all relative, I guess, but like, <laughs> um, well, yeah, I know. I know she said it was expensive and not worth the price, but my point is not that. My point is, is if in comparison to everything else in her house, if she thinks the cat bed was expensive, how much was it? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to say is it's not that like, um, I don't know. Does, I, does, what I'm trying to say makes sense. I hope it does. Um, just in comparison to the rest of the things in the home, because so much of the stuff that she has is like so expensive. Um, but like, how much could it possibly be? It's a cat bed. Like, how much could it physically cost? I don't know. It was 245. It was 245 euros. 
They linked the cap in the comments. It was two hundred and eighty dollars. Why is she calling it a splurge? <laughs> if she has like a ten thousand dollar mirror, why is she talking about the cat bed being expensive? I'm so confused by this. <laughs> okay. Okay, anyway, um <laughs> To me, it, it, like, with Emma Chamberlain level money, I don't even think it's that, like, I don't even think that $280 in comparison to the rest of the things in her house is that expensive. Like, I need to, I cannot understate how expensive the furniture she has in her house is and, like, how expensive the, like, marble and the flooring she probably got. Like, I, I so to me, 280 bucks for cat furniture isn't even that expensive. That's, like, cheap. <laughs> Oh, fascinating. Just fascinating. <clears throat> I'm so interested in this kind of thing. Um, yeah, Anya, I know that splurge doesn't always make sense. It just means something unnecessary. But, like, I don't think that a cat bed is unnecessary unless her cats don't use it. I guess if you haven't seen the video, I don't know. It's She just, she didn't talk about the price of literally anything else in her house. It was the only thing that she commented on being a, a splurge. Which, to me, is, like confusing <laughs> because the whole house is so expensive but all the houses they show on that channel are expensive obviously like um she's got a lot of money it's not her fault her house is expensive go for it spend it all but like it just was funny to me that she only commented on that being expensive um when literally everything was like so expensive <laughs> i don't think i like these counters um but anyway anyway fascinating <laughs> Um, I am so nosy. I love to see what people spend their money on. Like, I, I love to see house tours of the rich and famous. I'm so curious. Because a lot of times I think they're kind of ugly. Like, sometimes they'll, they'll do these things in their houses and they'll pick this, like, it's always marble. But they'll pick marble that I think is, like, legitimately ugly. And I'm like, why... <laughs> And think about how much money that costs. Like, and they'll put it like everywhere. It's like all up the walls and the counters and the floors. Like, I don't know. It's like, did you only buy that because it's because ex it's expensive? Like, it's orange. Like, I don't know. I would never pick that. Um, it's it's unique. That's for sure. But I don't know if you got the money. I guess like, go for it, right? But. Um, and you've got really expensive interior designers that can help you pick it, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, part three of Roasting Expensive Houses. I did a couple videos where I was, like, digging around on Zillow, um, and I was looking at, like, multi-million dollar houses, like, like, ten million dollar houses, um, in California and joking about them. Maybe I should do it again. Um, I don't think I've used the spa day counters in so long. I kind of want to use them. Um, but I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's very long. And I don't know where to put the fridge. <laughs> I could put it here, I suppose, but... Um, I don't know. Like the early stream vibes? Yeah, early streams are fun. They're very casual. Um, we're just hanging out, you know? How are you enjoying your new house? I'm so excited about it, Kenny. I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm really happy to be here. I made banana bread last night um, in my new oven. Really exciting stuff. <laughs> I haven't baked anything yet. I've like been cooking, but I hadn't just like baked for fun yet. So that was fun. Um, I made some, got to do that. You think black appliances? Do you know what? That might be kind of cool. I never do that. Do you think we should? Cooking stream soon? Yeah, we should do a baking stream soon. That would be fun. Um, did having underground power lines influence my decision to buy the house in any way? No. It wasn't even, to be completely honest with you, it wasn't even a thing that crossed my mind. 
Like, I genuinely didn't even think about that until the neighbors were like, yeah, our power lines are underground. And I was like, oh, that's good. But I didn't even, like, notice it. I didn't even think about it until someone else told me. So, <laughs> maybe that's foolish. I don't know. But, there, I, like, I live in Florida. I'm used to this. Like, it's just kind of how it goes. So, um, and my parents' power lines are underground and they still lose power. So, um, but anyway, I didn't even think about it, to be completely honest. Maybe that's foolish, but, um, I don't know what, there's like, I don't really want to do that much. The, the island is like so big. Maybe I should just do it as an island and not have it be like all the way up to the wall. Maybe that would be better. I think it might be better. Um, everyone has different priorities and that's cool. What with the power lines? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, I, it wasn't a thing that crossed my mind really. Cause it wasn't something that I thought I would be able to ensure anyway, I guess either. I don't know. I just didn't think about the, the power lines. So got lucky, I guess. Um, but, um, that's the thing, even if the power lines in your neighborhood underground, there's still a good chance that like, if others in your network are above ground, you could still lose power. Like it's, it's just, I don't know. Um, in my opinion, that is not something that I can even remotely control. So uh, I guess I didn't worry about it. <laughs> but to answer the question, it wasn't that I thought about when I bought the house. So yeah, the hurricane is passed now, Clara. Um, thankfully I did not lose power. Um, I had a couple trees fall in my yard. Um, and there's been a lot of flooding in Orlando. My house did not flood, but like down the street, it is flooded. Um, there's been a lot of flooding in Orlando, but luckily my family and I are safe, so. Um, okay, I don't know what I want to put. I feel like this is like too dark. I need to pick something more. I don't know. I don't know. This is like so not my style. <laughs> That's the problem. I like so, so don't like this that when I try and do it, I just, I don't know. I think I wanna try and bring in a little bit more like, I kinda like those, I guess. Maybe some orange or red accents, yeah. I need it to be like, I want it to have like black with a little bit of a color. Does that make sense? Like, ooh. Um. Why are these bar stools like this? Why did they do them like that with the? I don't know. What color am I going for? I haven't decided. I haven't decided. I don't know. We're we're winging it about the color scheme. We're not really sure. Um, this brings in like a little bit more of a. I don't know. I hate I. I hate building houses like this. I'm literally no good at this. I'm, I've never been good at this. Um, I think we need a rug that has like more color and pattern to it. Um, not sure if the style goes. Yeah, I know. I used it outside though, so we can try and make it match. I can change it. I'm not accepting criticism. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. This build is gonna be the death of me. I don't know how to do it. Um, it's such a weird one. It's so, this is the problem. It's just so not my style, like so not my style that it's very hard for me to figure out how to do it. I think that if we used a rug like this, we might be able to pull it together a little bit more. And then we can try and use some of the industrial loft kit furniture as well. Um, that could be cool. Don't be stressed out, it's really cool. Don't be stressed out. Oh, I am on, I'm, I'm like peak stress at the moment. 
so stressed out just in general in in life um okay couch was nice and brown oh did you think you liked it in brown i feel like that super clashes with the counters though i'm trying to like tie in the counters um i think i like this gray one and then we can get like a pretty, I guess we have a nice like sort of industrial from the industrial loft kit. The industrial loft kit came with bar stools too. But I don't think they match really. I don't like that. Um, you love the brown, but the gray, is, the gray is cute too. Okay, I'm not really sure what to use, but. We'll figure it out. Um, we will figure it out. We have some cool lights that we can put. So that's fun. That'll help, right? It's very pretty, but also very depressing. What, in here? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, um, that's, that doesn't help. <laughs> Um, the problem is the counters, maybe a dark wood. Oh. Okay. That doesn't help either. Because I like the counters. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'm not sure. I don't like this build. I don't, I don't like building houses like this. There's a reason that I don't build houses like this, literally ever. And this is the reason. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, I wanted to get a giant TV, um, in here, but unfortunately for us, the silly little windows that I have gotten, they are very much in the way. So, um, let's think. See? In the way. Oh my god, we could do it like off-center. And I could put like a... Wait. We might have a vision for this. This could be like trendy, because it's asymmetrical. I think the Instagram girlies would love this. And then we could put like a big plant. Oh, or little Zika said a stereo. That's interesting probably do both. I don't know which one. I don't know. But it's interesting. This one has some blue to it. Oh, it's floating. That's great. But we might need some of the blue. Maybe the Alexa one? Okay, maybe, maybe. The Lindsay smart speaker. I almost like, I don't know, maybe I like that one. Oh, moon petal, interesting. Um, we could get a smaller plant. Moon Petal is from, um, the Moon Petal is from, what's it called? The Werewolf Pack. It's this flower that, like, only blooms in the full moon, blah, blah, blah. Um, why are you making the lounge area next to the kitchen and the front door? Okay, Cal, can I just tell you? Where else would it go? Oh, next to the kitchen again. Friend, I, I think it's important to know that this house isn't very big. So where else would it go? The house that I literally currently live in, the front door opens straight to the living room. Door opens, couch. Straight there when you walk in. It's not abnormal. Um, I don't really want to hear people being like, where I live, it's not. <laughs> okay. It probably is. You just don't live in a house like that. 
Um, <laughs> it's super normal, okay? I promise. Um, people get so weird about this. They'll be like, well, in Europe? <laughs> and then, like, make some outrageous claim that I don't even think is true. Like, it's, they, they, I don't know. People are so weird about stuff like that. Just because your house is like that doesn't mean that other people's houses aren't, so. And also, it's The Sims. Also, uh, this is the Sims. <laughs> um, okay, I want to get a big plant, but they don't really work where I want them. Um, I think it heavily depends on, I guess, where you live and also what sort of place you live in. Because um, a lot of times in a small space, like, there isn't space for an entry. You know, so you just walk straight into the living room or, or whatever, you know, obviously maybe it would be ideal to have an entryway, but like, um, depending on where you live, it's just not a thing. Maybe in your apartment, you know, like it, um, or the opposite, like in my townhouse, I had a super long hallway entry, like super long hallway entry. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um. But I really, I honestly believe, honestly, I believe that it has nothing to do with where you live and more to do with what kind of house you live in. Um, I might, I want to put this backwards, to be honest. But I don't think it's like a, in Europe, you don't do this kind of thing. I think it just depends on what your house is like, or if you have an apartment or whatever, maybe when it was built, stuff like that. Um, I really don't think it's that deep. <laughs> um... But people get really weird about it. They get, like, aggressive to me and how unrealistic it is. I don't know. I think people just feel really strongly about um, what is familiar to them because they're used to, like, their house and they know what their house is like. Um, and so anything that is different than that is really weird. And they love to point it out. So. Um, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You live in a dorm? There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, it's just funny when people are like, this is, this would never happen, and I'm like, I literally live in a house right now that has that, so. <laughs> it does happen, I promise. <laughs> I'm there right now. Um, but the other thing people get really weird about that they complain about a lot when I do um, is they, they really don't like it when I put um, the, like, laundry stuff in the same room as a bathroom like if there's like a toilet next to the washer and dryer oh my god why would you do that kayla meanwhile to me <laughs> i'm like my grandparents house has like a utility room in the basement and there's a toilet and a shower in there like people put the laundry it's the same thing as putting it in the kitchen it's just because there's plumbing nearby like you just put it near the plumbing like i don't <laughs> Like, it's, I don't know. It's not abnormal. Like, it's just you... I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe in, in where you're from, it's more commonly in the kitchen than in the bathroom. Maybe you have, like, separate laundry rooms and closets and stuff, but, like, it's not abnormal. You just put it where the plumbing is. But people get really weird about me doing that in The Sims. They, like, they really cannot fathom why I would do that in The Sims. Um. Um. But anyway, people are so silly. That's the moral of the story. People are so, so, so silly. I don't think I want to do eight chairs. I think I might just do the six. And I kind of like those. But maybe I'll get like a... We could do a lighter rug. Um... I want to get a big plant. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, this is cool. We should put that outside. Um, laundry in the garage. A lot of places have laundry in the garage. I have laundry, um, like a lot of houses in Florida have laundry in the garage. Um, I have a laundry room where I live that's like right off the garage. You walk into the house from the garage and there's like the laundry. Um, but a lot of houses, especially in Florida, have laundry in the garage. I'm sure it's common elsewhere, too. I just, I know what happens in Florida. And a lot of places here have laundry in the garage. Um, so. Um. Mm -hmm. 
No, I don't know. We could get some pretty plants like this. I like that. Um, yeah, we could get one of the huge paintings. That would help. Um, that would help. Anyway, it's so interesting talking about like what people's places are like in different parts of the world, but the moral of the story is <laughs> What you have isn't normal everywhere, and what other people have isn't abnormal. Just let people do whatever they want in The Sims build, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, I like the purple. That's totally different than the rug that we picked. Like, totally different. But I kind of like the purple vibes. You sent me a DM on Instagram? Oh, Eden! Um, I have my DMs closed on Instagram. Um, I got sick of people saying mean things to me in them, so I just said, you know what, maybe you can't DM me anymore on Instagram. So I, if you DM'd me on Instagram, I, I can't see it. I don't have, like, my Instagram DMs aren't open, so I'm not even sure why I let you send one, but I, I won't see it, because my DMs are closed. So. Um, but yeah, I got sick of people saying mean things to me in my DMs, so I said, you know what, you aren't allowed to <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Um, you reply to my stories all the time. Does it- but the thing is, I don't even have a way to like- I guess I can see the story replies. In like the... No, I can't. I don't really know how it works. But I don't have them open. So I don't see them. Um, I could probably open it again soon, because I'm- I'm getting a bit, um... Well, maybe not, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Mentally, um, there's only so much that I can handle. <laughs> if they're open, I don't have to look at them, but... Um, yeah, people are weird, so... Again, unfortunately, only so much that I can take. Um... <laughs> You're on your partner's account to tell me that you got banned from my stream. Great. Friend, can I just suggest, um, no shame, but can I just suggest that if you get banned from my stream, you probably shouldn't tell me. Um, you'll be able to submit an appeal, um, on your main account, and, and I'll be able to read that and stuff, but if you get banned, you probably shouldn't tell us, because now I don't know why you got banned, um, and so I'm gonna ban you on that account too, because I don't know what you did. It could have been really bad. It might have been not bad, and I'll unban you, but it could have been really bad, so. Um, just, just for the record, it's probably smarter to not tell people that you've been banned from their channels. Because <laughs> um, that, you know, it's not a good thing. Um, People do that all the time. More so, they'll do it. They'll they'll come into Dan's chat and then be like, "Lil Simsy, stupid mods, ban me for no reason." I don't think they did. <laughs> I don't think they did. And and also, why are you telling Dan that? And then also, why are you like saying mean things about my mods to him? <laughs> because obviously now he's gonna immediately distrust you <laughs> and not like you. Like I, I hello. <laughs> Hello? Um, you just in general, people be like, oh my god, you know, you're so and so, your friend banned me for no reason. I sincerely, I don't believe that it was for no reason. And now I immediately don't trust you. Like, I know my friends and their mods really well. <laughs> and they don't just like go around banning people for no reason. So if you tell me you're banned in one of my best friend's streams, like, and I'm gonna be like, hmm, I wonder what you did. It's probably bad. And usually it is. Usually it's like they said something really nasty to them. So they absolutely did not get banned for no reason. They were very rightfully banned. <laughs> but anyway, it's so easy to not get banned in, in the stream. Like it's literally so easy. Um, I have debug on pad. If you type bb.show hidden objects, you can access all the debug stuff. I was trying to use some debug landscaping stuff, so. Um, but, I don't know if I want a rug there or not. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if I want bar stools or not either. Bar stools might help to tie it all together, I guess. 
Yeah, or they'll like insult me here in my chat and then go around being like, little well, Sipsy Pammy for no reason. Like, <laughs> hello? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the internet is really something special. I'm not sure if that matches. Um, I don't know if it'll be too tight with the bar stools. I think it might be okay, but we'll try. Maybe I could use these brown ones. Ties it in a little bit more. We could always scoot this forward too. Um, save? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, maybe I'll scoot it back a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. I think I like that. I also think that it's helping to like warm everything up a little bit, but I'm not sure that this purple matches. Maybe I could use the purple in the bedroom instead. Um, the purple in the bedroom might help. Um, Oh, what if we did a couple chairs, like, not that one, but if we did a couple chairs sort of by the bookshelf, that could be kind of cool. That's not the right color wood. Reading nook, exactly. <laughs> um, exactly. This could be okay. Ties in some of that creamy color. I don't know. We need to get a really big painting. The concrete flooring is base game. I like the purple painting too, Scotty. I really did, but I don't know if it like the color scheme matches. Cause I, I also really enjoyed the purple, don't get me wrong, but um I don't know. That's very black and white, which also matches. Pop of color, yeah, but it doesn't, it like didn't match the rug at all. And I feel like we need to tie in the rug, you know? Um, that's kind of the problem that I'm facing. Can I size this down and use like, that's too big. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the first City Living picture? This one? I tried that one first. I also don't feel like that matches the rug. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't match. So it's hard to, it's hard to use. Um, maybe I could try and make this be the blue because that matches the rug a little. The rug is technically a different room. Yeah, but it's all one room. I mean, obviously it's like in a different space, but it is all one room, so. We could get some lights on either side of the painting. That could be nice. I actually like that. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. There are 14 chairs in this room. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely busy. <laughs> um, it's definitely, uh, there's a lot of spaces to sit. So. Um, good for me and my 13 friends. Yeah, exactly. Seven are cats. Okay, Hope. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I want to get a pretty desk. I might even use a table as a desk. Because I like the glass. There's about to be another chair. <laughs> there's, there's about to be a whole other chair in here. Very exciting. You think I'm better than I think about building modern houses? Maybe. I really struggle with this because it's not, it's just not my personal style. I know I keep saying that, but like, it's just not really the kind of stuff that I like. So when I try and build it, I feel like so far out of my comfort zone. Um, and I kind of struggle with it for that reason. Um, I've 
ever seen that in my life. Have you seen this chair before? I honestly don't think I've ever seen this. I swear. That's from university? I'm sh I mean, obviously I saw it when it came out, but... I haven't used that in ages. No, that's high school. Oh, it's high school. Oh, that's why I haven't seen it. It's recent. Never mind. It's from high school years, so that it's new. That's less scary. Less confusing. Sorry, I don't know what's gotten into me today. Don't like that either. Does this one come in a good color? Ooh, maybe I could use the brown. That could be nice. Um, that could be nice. Um... I want a big plant. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to yawn. I haven't slept very well the past couple nights. Last night, better, but I was having dreams about trees falling on my house. I'm not even being dramatic. <laughs> and the night before, I didn't sleep very well because I was waiting for a hurricane to hit my house. Um, and it hit over the night, so... <laughs> I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I think understandably. Um, okay, I think... I want to get a little lamp. I like that, that's nice. I should probably get some more art on this wall. It's tough because the wall is like so high. So high. Um, I always think these are kind of pretty, but they're not as like trendy as maybe I want them to be. Oh, we could try and use something like this. <laughs> this could be kind of cool. Do you think that fits the vibes? I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I'll put another little plant over here. I think it's getting quite cozy in here. Um, Um, maybe if we got like a clock on this wall. Sure. That would be nice. And decorative. <laughs> Do I ever use CC? You know, I don't really use CC in my builds. Um, I, uh, so I mostly build these things with the intention of them being like downloadable. Obviously this house uses like a bajillion packs, so it's not so downloadable for, for everyone. <laughs> uh, but I usually build houses with the, intention of, uh, with the intention of them being more downloadable. And when things have CC, obviously it's hard to find in the gallery. Like, um, so it's just not something that I really choose to use in my videos very often. If I wasn't making videos, I probably would use CC more. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't really use a ton of CC in my builds these days. Um, okay. I would like to get a couple little book type items. That's cool. Lovely. Um, that's kind of a different vibe. So maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. Maybe I could use that one. Does it come in like a Ooh. Do you know what? What if we did it like that? Are you using wallpaper? Yeah, Megan, don't worry, I'll put wallpaper. I just haven't done it yet. Um, Kat and Maeve and Morgan and Dark and Paulita and Shiny and Trina and Cole and Lynn and Alex and Job and Ella. Thank you all for the subs. All cut with the gifted subs too. Thank you so much. Um, let's not forget Lil Simsy's Alpha CC era. I used a little bit of Alpha CC when I first started my YouTube channel, yeah. I think it's important to note that the, like, the modding landscape, which I know is a weird thing to say, was a little bit different back then. Like there wasn't really as much Maxis Match CC um, 
the the sort of style of CC has changed a little bit over the years. Um, back in the day, a lot of the custom content that existed was a lot of people making conversions of Sims 3 custom content. Um, so it, it was like a slow burn to sort of come to like the style of CC that's really popular now. Um, but eco lifestyle, eco lifestyle, where is it? Um, doesn't CC cost money? No, CC is free. Um, a lot of times the CC creators will, um, they'll put their CC up for like early access. Um, so you can download the mod like today if you pay for their Patreon, but it'll come out for everyone in three weeks. Um, is kind of what a lot of people tend to do. Um, so, but CC is, is usually free, yes. Um, yes, indeed. Um, do I think the rumors about Sims 5 are true? No, 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 not even remotely. Friends, I, I've even like tweeted about this because it was making me so anxious watching the speculation happen. Um, the Sims team is making The Sims 4 free and they're going to do a live stream um, talking about The Sims in October on the 18th. Um, the base game is going to be free and that that combined with the like news warning has made a lot of speculation run wild um, about why and it must be The Sims 5. Um, I just want to uh, put my little thoughts in. <laughs> I don't think The Sims 4 going free has anything to do with The Sims 5 coming anytime soon. In fact, I think it might even be the exact opposite. I think The Sims 5 is probably a really long ways away. Um, and the Sim that's why The Sims 4 base game is going free. They're making the base game free to attract a new player base because The Sims 4 is like eight years old. And so not a lot of new people are picking up The Sims 4 these days. Obviously it's an old game, that makes sense. That's just the cycle of games, right? So they make the base game free in hopes that more players will come in and then presumably spend money on packs, right? Um, I, I think that the, the base game going free is is sort of an opposite indication of Sims 5 coming soon than, than the Sims 5 like being imminent. Um, I, I think that that's not the case. Um, in fact, I think the Sims 5 actually is probably a long ways away, um, unfortunately. <laughs> I too would, would be very curious to see the Sims 5. I'm really excited about the thought of it, but I think that the Sims 5 is probably a super long ways away. And I think it's probably made even farther away by COVID. I think that COVID probably heavily impacted their production of the Sims 5 because really early on in development, we know they're working on it, but really early on in development, they would have had to switch to working from home. And that was a really hard adjustment for game companies because not everyone has the tech they need at home. You know, so it, um, The Sims 5, I think is a long ways away, like many years away. So, um, like many years away. I feel like I can't emphasize that enough. <laughs> um, I don't think that it's gonna be coming anytime soon, so. Um, yeah, the only, uh, if, if there were to be an announcement about The Sims 5, which frankly I think would be really foolish of them to do, because um, we know they're working on it. Um, if they were to announce anything, I think that maybe they'd announce they were working on it, but that would be it. They wouldn't announce like a release, there isn't one. Like they, you know, it's so, it's so far away. Um, but I think that them even announcing they're working on it would be really foolish because um, people would take that and run with it, and I think that would, like, come back to bite them in the future. So I, I sincerely hope that they don't announce anything um, until they have, like, a, a more concrete timeline and stuff. We don't actually know anything about Sims 5. They haven't said a word to us. The only things that we know is that they've been doing hiring for a new Maxis project at EA, um, and, like, we can kind of deduce from a lot of that that it's, like, people are working on The Sims 5. Like, you know, so... Um, they haven't said anything. There is no official information about it at all. But I, I, and I really don't think that it's coming soon or there'll be an announcement anytime soon. I would be so surprised if they announced anything. I really don't think that it is. And frankly, it makes me super nervous that a lot of people are speculating on the internet about The Sims 5 being announced soon. Um, because I think that it's so far away, it makes me feel really anxious about the speculation on Twitter because The Sims team is like, oh, we're going to do this live stream on the 18th. And it's, it's probably, I mean, I don't know what it'll be, but it won't be like Sims 5 level news, right? It's gonna be smaller than that. So they'll probably be like, hey, here's a new kit and a base game update. And everyone's gonna be like, the Sims 5, like, where is it? But I don't think they have any plans to announce the Sims 5. Um, you know? Um, 
So anyway, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> the moral of the story is all of this makes me feel nervous because I don't anticipate them announcing anything like that. Yeah, and you wouldn't announce The Sims 5 being free, or The Sims 5 coming out the day The Sims 4 comes free. Like, I, I feel like that mentality of like, oh, they're putting The Sims 4 for free because The Sims 5 is coming. I don't agree with that. I don't think that's true. But I also am not sure that that makes that much sense because if The Sims 5 was coming, wouldn't they want to like milk The Sims 4 like as much as they can before The Sims 5 comes out? You know, like... um if it were me, I feel like if I knew The Sims 5 was coming, I would really try and milk The Sims 4 before The Sims 5 comes out. Because it's going to stop having sales as much when The Sims 5 comes out. You know, so I just, I don't think they would make the game free. Although I, in the opposite end of that, I think they're making the game free to get more sales of The Sims 4 packs. So maybe I'm like, maybe my logic contradicts itself there, but, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Why would they have a, why would they hype up the summit thing so much? It was just a kit. They always hype up their live streams. Um, I'm sure they probably have a cool announcement. It might not be a kit, but I don't think it's a Sims Five type announcement. You know, um, and they always hype their own live streams. That's that's not abnormal of them to do. Um, it's sort of the community that's been hyping it a little bit more and making assumptions about announcements. Um, but they always hype their own announcements and live streams and stuff. And I think it will be an announcement. I just don't think it'll be a Sims 5 announcement, you know? Um, and that's the problem, because the announcement is probably cool, <laughs> but because of the fact that everyone has sort of, like, gotten their hopes up so high, it's it's like the same... Th I, I keep comparing it to the eco-lifestyle thing, but um, it's very similar to the eco-lifestyle day to me, because when eco-lifestyle got announced, they had... Um, there was a fake leak the day before, Eco Lifestyle was announced. Someone, so they had like said, hey, we're gonna drop a trailer on Friday. Um, and then on Thursday, somebody made a fake leak of a farming pack. Um, and they were like, I work at Target. I can see the listing of this farming pack. It's a farming pack. And knowing that there was going to be a, a announcement the next day, obviously everybody was like, oh my God, it's a farming pack. Um, and then when it wasn't, people were so mad about the the actual announcement. They thought it, the pack sucked. People, it was, honestly, that was one of the worst days in the Sims community. And I'm not even trying to be dramatic, but people were so angry. I was getting so much hate because in my trailer reaction, I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, I love the idea of this eco lifestyle gameplay because I love that off the grid kind of thing. And I got hate for like being paid off by EA. Like it was a disaster. That day was terrible because people get excited about something and then run with it. And then it ends up not being true. That's what I think is happening with the Sims 5 stuff where like people have like gotten their hopes up about this Sims 5 thing that I really don't think is going to happen. It might, but I really don't think it is. Um, and, and then it, when it's not that people are going to be mad. So it just makes me anxious for that reason. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, it was weird because Eagle Lifestyle got such a negative reaction when they first announced it, but I think people have sort of changed their mind. People like that pack now. Um, I like Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> I think it's really fun. I'm building with it a bunch right now. I'm in the world right now, you know? Um, but anyway, anyway. What are we? <sighs> I feel like there's not as much brown up here, but I guess I was trying to go for more purple, so. Um, okay, colors, purple, I didn't mean to look at everything that's purple, I, just, I guess I could just scroll through and find everything that's purple, <laughs> I don't know, we need to put some more accents, we can always do a wall as well, ew, ew, no, 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 no. Some wall stuff might be okay. I haven't played Plate Up, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. I think I would like it. Um, I think I would like it. Oh, maybe if we could have done a... The problem is a lot of the rugs are like not very... Like this one is small. Wait, 
I might be able to manage this. If we do it like that, so it looks like it's striped on purpose, what do you think? It'll be way too big sized up. Like that's not gonna work. But if we layer it and make it look like it's like that on purpose. I guess Snowy Escape has a rug too, right? Um, maybe I kind of like that one. Um, Sip and Danny and Marie and Emma and West Coast and Lake. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Ab as well. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Don't like the bed? Yeah, I'm not liking the bed as much anymore either. I'm just not sure what to replace it with. Um, I guess this one has some of the colors that are in that. Maybe that would be good. What do you think? I wish that the headboard was different. Um, what if we tried to make like a custom headboard? Wait. Wait. Idea. Okay, I can't have the purple pillows as much anymore. Maybe I still can, I don't know. Oops, I deleted one of the rugs. You're not a fan of the rugs? Oh, good. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know. We can try and put some like decorations up there. You don't think the bed fits the rest of the vibe? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of like it, but. Use carpet tiles for the rug. I don't think it'll fit the way that we expect it to. Um, the. It'd have to be like a square. I don't know if you can tell, but like that would be how it would fit. And there are some things, let me save this one so I can show you later, but there are some things that might work, but um, it would just not be like, the colors aren't the same vibe. I think I like the layered rug. I'm sorry if you don't like the layered rug, but I think I like the layered rug. So I might keep it. Um, the bed's functional. Yeah, people do this kind of thing a lot. People do a lot of, um, making of fake headboards with like debug and stuff too, to make like base game builds look a little bit more interesting. Um, so that, this kind of thing happens a lot. People do this sort of stuff. Looks cool. That's floating. Um, and then I haven't done any wallpaper yet because I've been avoiding it. Um, so that'll be fun too. We'll figure that one out. Um, we could put a lamp up there or something, yeah. Um, okay. Some books, yeah, something like that. Let me do the bathroom before I forget. I'm making myself nervous. Um, okay, I don't know. You like the plot, the plant in the bathroom? Yeah, I know it's just there, isn't it? <laughs> um, let me look at the packs dine out. Um, also, chat. Just so you know, um, we have a sponsored segment of the stream beginning in just a couple minutes here. Um, so I'll tell you more about that in a second. But we do have a sponsored portion of the stream beginning soon. So. Very, very exciting things. Uh, da, da, da. Let me get a nice bathtub. Like a really nice, big bathtub right in the middle there. Um, and I think we should do curtains. I might even use the new ones from the kits. Cause we can do that and then we should be able to like, oh my God, the windows are so annoying. But this way we can get like a custom size. 
Um, they come in black, but I don't know if I want to use it. Maybe I'll keep it. Do you know what? Maybe I'll keep it in the in the beige. Can I like? That's so weird. What happens if we put like? This is really weird too, but what happens if we put something like, like that? So we layer it, so there's a bit of wood and a bit of black. I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. Um, I like the wood tone. We need to like warm it up a little bit more anyway. Um, okay, let me just set up my sponsored things really quickly, friends. Don't mind me. Let me just add on the title. I had it on the beginning of the stream by accident, but <laughs> let me just post all my things and then let me turn on. Wait, watch this. Boom. Boom. Oh, I had this lower because I was doing a different game before. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> um, okay, just a quick warning. We're gonna be on the front page. I don't know what slot on the front page. So that means you, we don't know what to expect. We could have like a 5,000 more viewers. We could have 500 more viewers. It's impossible to say until it happens. Um, just so you know, that view count number is like super inflated. Um, when you're on the front page, like when you go to Twitch, twitch.tv, the homepage, it has like a carousel of streamers. We're gonna be in that carousel for an hour. Um, but obviously anyone who's on Twitch will be a viewer of that homepage. They're not actually in our chat. They're not, they might even have me muted, you know, like, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, we don't, it's not going to be like an, all of a sudden the chat's like 50 times faster. There will be some new people. Um, sometimes there's some trolls. If that kind of thing happens, it's okay. We'll just ban them. Don't worry about it. Um, but just so you know, like, I know it might be kind of scary, like, wait a minute, what happened? You know, but it's, it's just, um, the front page. Um, because we're sponsored by AT&T, so <laughs> Apricity and Addy and Elise and Jean and Let's Go Lesbians, thank you all for those subs and stuff, by the way. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to save my game quickly. Yes! All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> Look at all the thank the mods in the chat. Very, very, very nice. Um, very, very, very nice. We have so much work to do in this apartment. Oh my goodness. Um, I gotta thank the mods first before it begins. Yes, exactly. Well, so if you didn't know, let me tell you about the AT&T class of 2022, because you might be seeing that and thinking like, what the heck is that? What does that mean? Um, basically, we've done a few streams like this now, so a lot of you might be familiar, but um, AT&T does this thing, this like creator program on Twitch, um, where they call it, in this case, it's the class of 2022. They've had a few different classes. And they basically pick like six streamers, um, six like up and coming streamers that they want to help grow their channels and level up their streams and stuff like that. Um, and they pick a mentor for those six streamers. Um, and then AT&T works with them, they get them front page time. Um, they help them like, obviously they're paying them so they can help upgrade their setups and stuff. Um, sometimes they get them access to like AT&T fiber if, if possible, which is huge because if you didn't know, AT&T fiber is so fast and so good. Um, but they also, like I said, picked a mentor. And in this case, they picked me. <laughs> so um, we are the mentor for these six streamers in this group. Um, and so with our streams this month, we are doing these six sponsored streams and we're going to raid one of the mentees each time. Um, each, each of these six streams, we're going to raid one of the mentees. So we've gotten to raid a few. We've done three, I think now. Um, so we've got a couple more to go. And so I'll tell you who we're going to raid and what we're going to do at the end of the stream. And we'll talk a little bit about it, but it's really fun. Um, it's just, it's really cool, like positive, Thing. I don't know. It's just a good time. Um, I'm also a huge fan of um, what AT&T is doing on Twitch and like how they're working with everybody like this because I mean selfishly <laughs> Selfishly, they've been working with a lot of simmers um, They obviously have me as the mentor this time But in the past groups they've they've worked with 30 creators now and had a few mentors but they've had like 30 groups of streamers that are in the class, right? Um, and there a bunch of Ben simmers like, like my friend Momo Misfortune, Spring Sims, Rochella, Equippy, Let's Build Houses, like so many of our Sims friends have been involved in the program in the past. Um, so we keep joking, like somebody at and is a fan of the Sims, but like they've been doing a lot to help support the Twitch community, but more specifically our community on Twitch. And I really appreciate that. Um, 
I really appreciate them working with Simmers. So um, it's cool. And I like them. So thank you, AT&T. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, just let's charge Thank you for the subs also. Um, okay, anyway. Let's work on this bathroom. Oh boy. I don't know what I want it to look like. I might see about using these counters again, but they also might not fit, so we'll try. If they look ugly, we won't use them. I just liked the idea of having, like, a proper, um, counter. But maybe it's not. We could do the all black version upstairs. We have the lighter ones downstairs, but this one could work. This one could work. Um, also, oh my goodness, I didn't tell you all about this, obviously, but I've had to, the person we're going to raid today, I hope that they're okay, because I had to reschedule this stream twice, but then put it back to today. It's because originally it was scheduled for like the day that I was moving. So I had to be like, oh my God, can we move it a couple days later just in case? Because I was worried that like I would have computer issues or like internet issues in the new house. So I was like, we probably shouldn't do it the first day I get here. Um, so I asked to reschedule it to today. And then a couple days ago, I had to be like, um, so there's a hurricane coming and I'm not sure if we're going to lose power. And if we do, I'm not sure it's going to be back up in time <laughs> for the stream. Um, thankfully we didn't lose power and I do have power right now, but we had a bit of a runaround of like, I don't know if I can do the stream today. <laughs> like, I'm not sure if it's going to work. So luckily it's all worked out. We're all good, but it, this has been a weird one. We did reschedule any of the other ones, but this one specifically has been... Um, unlucky. <laughs> this just this week has been like a bit of a nightmare, obviously. So, um, thankfully it's all worked out and we're all good. Everything's fine. But, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a weird one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're, we're all good though. We're here. Everything's all right. We made it through. Um, I'm not going to listen to Oh, TJ. Welcome to the stream. I see you from the front page. I'm sorry if I if I bugged you this morning with my annoying voice. I know it's rough. <laughs> okay, um, let me grab maybe, oh, I kind of want like, oh, we could use this toilet. That could be good. It's kind of fancy. You know? Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's get a shower. We could use a golden one. Morning, it's 4 p.m. here. Oh my goodness, princess. Hello, it's good to see you. How is your, um, how are you? How are you doing? You all right? Has today been okay? Um, yeah, I like this top in front of the big window too. I think it looks really good there. I'm really excited. Yay, sorry, sorry. The hurricane is called Ian. If you've seen people talking about like Ian sucking and how bad Ian is and stuff, it's not like some guy. Don't, no one's like sending hate to some guy, I promise. <laughs> the hurricane is Ian, the hurricane is Ian. Um, it isn't just like some random guy who's getting a lot of hate on the internet right now. <laughs> it's a, that's the name of the hurricane. Um, hurricane Ian is the one that has come through Florida the past couple of days. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. That's a important distinction to make, I see. Um, I like this bathroom, I think it's pretty. Yeah, that Ian guy must have really messed up. Got super canceled online. <laughs> Nocturnal Fruggles, uh, Valid, Tiki, and Casey. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, Canada, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that you're okay. Um, I'm, I'm so, so glad to hear that you're okay. Hopefully your power comes back up soon. Um, probably won't, but sincerely hope. I don't know what the situation's looking like down there. Um, your friend's name is Ian? Oh, I'm sure your friend is really nice. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, bad time to have a name like that this, this week at least. <laughs> um, okay, let me think about the colors for the floor too. Maybe we could do that one. That could be nice. Um, and then perhaps we could get da, 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 some toothbrushes and some of this. Um, okay. Ooh, after I get off stream today, I've got a meeting about the panel that I'm doing at TwitchCon, um, which is kind of exciting. I don't really know what to expect, um, 
but I've got a meeting about the panel I'm doing at TwitchCon after stream. So, I am doing a panel. No, Tilly, I always knew I was doing a panel. It was the meet and greet that was a little bit like, what the heck? Because um, I didn't know that they had scheduled one. Um, and certainly didn't know they had picked a time. <laughs> but I, so I knew I was doing a panel. I didn't know that they had scheduled a meet and greet for me, but I, I am gonna do the meet and greet. That's gonna be on Friday at TwitchCon and the panel's on Sunday. Um, I'll make sure I share my like actual TwitchCon schedule with you all closer to it, um, in case any of you are going. Um, Cause maybe we can be at the panel together, you know? It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> Kat, Veronica, Imperfect, Nocturnal, thank you for the subs. Um, but that'll be cool. That'll be cool. You're flying from England for TwitchCon. Oh, Shumi, that's so awesome. You're going to have a good time. TwitchCon is fun. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm really excited to see everybody again. It's been so long since we've, like, obviously hung out with people in person, so. Um, will I do Insta stories the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post stuff on Instagram and stuff while I'm there. That's a good idea. Um. I'll definitely post some things. Um, good plan. How about that? I kind of like that. Um, it'll be fun, she says tensely. Do I sound tense? <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen Gluon in ages. This is the thing. We, um, like, we were so lucky, uh, uh, Simmers, back in the day like pre-COVID, obviously, um, because we used to see each other all the time. Um, they used to do Sims events for every expansion pack. Um, whenever there was an ex expansion pack coming out, they would fly out a bunch of people to play the pack early, like at EA Studios. Um, and so I used to see my Sims friends twice a year. I'd see them like in the fall and in the summer for those Sims packs, um, for the expansion pack, like early gameplay releases. So I got so used to seeing all my Sims friends twice a year, constantly. I haven't seen anybody in years because of COVID, obviously. Um, so it, it's going to be fun to see some people. Not everyone's going, obviously, but it'll be fun to see some people again um, at TwitchCon. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay, I'm not sure what I want to do with the walls. So I need to start thinking about like the um, the color scheme, you know? Um, I like the idea of maybe having some of this brick in a few places, um, which is cool, very cool. Uh, when a friend in Eclipse and Straw, a millionaire, thank you for the subs. Um, let's see. Maybe you'll need Dream. Oh my god, I forgot he was going to TwitchCon. Yeah, that helps, I think. Um, and then... I don't know. Maybe we could do like a... Maybe one of the walls could be gray. Maybe the back wall could be gray. That's like the same color as the floor, so maybe not that one. But maybe I could paint it like... It's a slightly different color than the other walls. I don't know. Dream is face revealing this weekend? Is he? Oh my. Um, do you know what? I've always thought, this is gonna sound really bad, but I don't mean it in a bad way. But I always thought that if I were Dream, if I was like that famous and that rich and faceless, like I hadn't revealed my face, I would, I would take the money and leave. <laughs> like, I would, I would post some more sponsored videos, I would never show my face, and I'd be out. Like, I, <laughs> if I was, if I was that rich and famous, and my face wasn't shown, I'd be done. I'd never, I would never face reveal. I would, I'd probably keep doing it for a little bit longer, but I, I like, I, because I, it would be fun, but like, I would take the money and leave. I would never show my face. It must be really scary, um, to be like that famous and, and be faceless though, because He's probably, like, constantly worried about people seeing him. But, like, I'd leave. <laughs> I wouldn't show my face. <laughs> um, I don't know. But I imagine that he probably has a lot of, um, a lot of stress about that. Because it would be really weird to, like, be faceless for that long. Because there's, people want to know what he looks like so bad. They're, like, constantly trying to figure it out. So, that must be hard. Um, but... 
I don't know. That's wild. <laughs> that is wild. Um, I don't know what to paint the walls like, friends. I'm really struggling with this. Um, made him decide. I have no idea. I don't follow Dream that closely. I don't know what he's up to. Um, but I, I can see him wanting to reveal his face. Probably wants to get it over with. Um, but anyway, I don't know what colors to put on the walls. Um, fitness, fitness, fitness stuff. I think this one has like some cool texture. Maybe we could use this one with the gray. I know we have like a lot of mixes of cool and warm tones in here, but I kind of like it. Do you think that one looks cool with like the pattern on the wall? Because that's kind of cool. It can be another like accent. We won't do it on all of the walls, but it can be another accent wall. Um, maybe we can get like a really good fancy tile behind this kitchen. Belly, Dell, Nike, thank you for the subs. Yeah, I like that brush texture. I think it's cool. Um, I don't know what I want to do with the kitchen. Ew, <laughs> I don't like it. Oh no. Um, there's some like big and also some more vertical, vertical looking tiles maybe? I don't know. I don't really want it to be beige. I feel like that looks weird. What do you think? Forgot that I moved, didn't notice slightly different, the slightly different background. We were joking about that, how, cause my background, I'm in a different room, I moved obviously, but it's the same, except I got a new chair. Like obviously I have the same shelves and stuff. So my background is really similar to how it was before. Um, it looks a lot different in the room. I made a video um, where I built this room in The Sims yesterday on my YouTube channel, if you wanna go watch it. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it definitely looks a lot similar to how it was before. Cause I moved the same furniture in here, but I did get a new chair. Um, so it's also smaller in here. Um, so it's a little bit like cozier, I guess, space wise. Um, the same brick. Oh my goodness, Merlin. <laughs> Thank you for the 40 gifted subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. Ooh, I don't think I like the brick. What do you all think about the brick? 40 gifted subs though. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone who got the gifted sub now too. Congrats, you've got a sub for the next 30 days. Thanks to Merlin. Um, mirrors for it? Do you think a mirror would be good or would it look weird? I, whenever people suggest a mirrored backsplash, I'm like, that would be beautiful, but also, oh my God, think about how grimy that would get. <laughs> like if you actually had a mirrored backsplash in the kitchen, it would probably get like so gross. Um... I'm not sure about like the, the height of that. I think it's actually kind of interesting, but I think I'm easy to wipe off though. I guess maybe, yeah. I don't know if I like it or not. It seems like we're just doing it to do it. Like, I don't know if it fits in with the style that well. It makes the kitchen feel big, that's true. Raise it to reach the higher cabinets. Oh, that's true, we could raise it up. Does that look weird behind the, um, the backsplash? Does it make the game laggy? Um, maybe. So from my understanding, when, so when I did the, like the builds for EA for the snowy escape lots, um, if remember I did that a couple years ago, um, they, when they were giving us like tips to make, um, to make the rooms like not laggy, like more performant, um, mirrors do cause issues because you have to like obviously has to like load the reflections in and stuff um but something to do with like i guess a lot of mirrors on the same wall and also mirrors like um into each other so if there was a mirror like over oops over here that kind of thing is bad performance too um not something you need to worry about too much if it's like in your regular everyday builds but it's an interesting thing to to point out um 
Yeah, Billy, the gifted subs just get randomly assigned. So that person paid to gift 40 subs, Merlin gifted 40, and then it just like gave out to 40 random accounts in chat. So um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if I like it. I'm sort of struggling with it. I think I might get rid of it. Um, but that's interesting. Something else that I didn't realize, um, it's, it's like small things like chairs. Um, can cause performance issues. Obviously, this is like small things that you would do to make it like slightly more performant. But um, for example, with chairs, when your Sims have like a lot of chairs to pick from, like where to sit, if they've got like a bunch of chair options, they have to like think about where they're gonna sit and then sit there. Um, so if you have like less chairs, it's more performant, um, which is interesting. Um, I didn't really think about that much either, <laughs> but obviously this place has a ton of chairs, but. Um, but so if you wanted to, you might like, for example, I maybe would get rid of this chair because it's not necessary, you know, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, it's cool, right? <laughs> Funny which, man, it's Chelsea and Paris. Thank you for the subs. Um, Sims have brains. Yeah. <laughs> Shockingly. Um, but anyway, I don't think I like the... Maybe something like, ooh, no, 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 no. That won't, that won't do, that won't do. Um, hmm. Hmm, maybe a different swatch. Yeah, but would it be weird to have a different swatch there? Cause it's like the same. One cabinet is a different color, you think? Oh, it's not a different color, it's just the lighting. They're all the same swatches. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what? What if we did from Spa Day? You know how there's like a little, um, like the tiny, but maybe in like the blue or something to sort of bring out the blue in the rug? I don't know if that's bad or not. Uh, it's kind of a different shade of blue, so it might be like kind of out there. But that could be kind of cool. You like that? Okay. It makes it more cold. Oh, do you think? You wish bigger tile? Yeah, I can see that. I guess Spa Day has like some bigger tile in general. Is this one just like... Do you like that better? I think the bigger tile is better. I think I like that. The horizontal blue ones, that could be nice. I kind of like this house. Okay, let's get some more like necessity type stuff, like the thermostat. Um, we can put maybe it by the door or is that, maybe I'll put it upstairs by this door. Um, what should we put by this door? Maybe a mirror? I don't know. I want it to be like skinny. That one's kind of skinny. We can put this in black. Would that be a fun little accent? You don't like this rug? You know, concerned frog, I kind of like it. It's um, it's kind of growing on me. Um, maybe a taller mirror. Yeah, maybe like a long skinny one would be better. It's hard to say. That one's too skinny. <laughs> that one is too skinny. So is that one. This one is too high up, I feel like. Um, thanks again, Merlin. I really appreciate that. You're right. It is the last day of September. Um, I had kind of forgotten about that. I like that. I think that's okay there. It looks like it's like in the middle of the wall. So maybe it's okay. Right? Okay, maybe we could put a couple of like shoes on the floor. Yes. Just by the door so it looks like it's actually an entry. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there we go, that could be nice. Have to stand on a step stool to use it? No, you can, you'll, your eye level is in there. Can't see your whole body in it, but it's up, it's eye level <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, okay, 
what should we do up here? Because we have that wall, which is helpful. Um, maybe I could like continue this blue tile a little. It's not as like, the okay, part of the problem with this space up here is that it's not as like warm as it is downstairs. Downstairs, we had a lot of brown. There's a lot of cool tones up here. Maybe that's okay though. It's just like two different vibes. Um, which I'm a little unsure about, but that's okay. We had used the brown brick before, but I'm not sure if it looked bad or not. Um, that's a weird combo. I need to think about that. I can show you. Um, oh, some curtains might help, I guess. That's true. Except the windows are so... Oh no, it's clipping. <laughs> Do I have to make it like... Maybe if we did it like that, so it they go into the shelves. That'll be good, okay. And then... We can raise this up like I had done in the other room. This will help like warm it up a little bit more. If we just got some more beige in here, it'll all come together. Okay, I had raised that up twice. Oops. I kind of like that. I think that's pretty. The kit, the curtains from that kit are so nice. <laughs> they are so good. Um, I really, really, really like it. Um, okay, um, let's see, maybe we could get a blanket basket. Yeah, I use them all the time now. I mean, that happens a lot just in general, I think, when, um, when an item is new, like, I tend to gravitate towards it. <laughs> Um, so now we have this new wallpaper, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna use it all the time. Um, what if we had a purple wall? Something like that. Is that weird? Maybe it's too much with the rug. Maybe it's too much with the rug, so we could do a different rug that maybe would tie in some more of the colors. Let's think about this. But yeah, the curtains being modular is so much easier to use than curtains that like are stuck at one size. Cause obviously you can't like only use them on certain windows when that's the case and stuff like that. But because these curtains, I can just like, wait. Because with these curtains, I can just pick and choose where I wanna put them. I think that might be too pink for me. I don't know. What do you think about that? Maybe we could do a fluffy rug. We used a fluffy rug before. Mm. And this, we can make it like... That might be kind of cozy. I think I kind of like that fuzzy rug. The hairy rug. <laughs> we could use the hairy rug. Um, I like that. Okay. Do we need some more, like, maybe a cooler tone or creamier tone over there? I think I kind of like it. It's definitely weird in here, but it's growing on me. Um, e and Cat and Sorrow and Butterfly and A and Siso and Mythical and Crystal and Moonlight and Comfy and Fumbling. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, Okay. Okay. I feel like a lot of the interior could probably be done. We haven't done the exterior at all though. Um, so as we're starting that, let me let me save my game and then I'll tell you a little bit about our sponsor today, AT&T. If you guys didn't know, um, AT&T has this really cool creator program on Twitch that they've been working on um, called the AT&T Class of 2022. You might've heard me talk about it because I've been involved in it um, for a couple months now. But basically, they are working with six creators, like up and coming creators, and they got a mentor 
for some reason they asked me to be the mentor. <laughs> um, and the idea is to help them grow their streams and stuff like that by giving them access, I mean, to things like AT&T Fiber, which if you didn't know, is extremely fast, so good. Anybody who has AT&T Fiber is gonna be like, uh-huh. Um, I need a trash can, wait, before I forget. Someone in chat reminded me. <laughs> um, they also, if you guys didn't know, AT&T has the most reliable 5G network. Um, <laughs> uh, but basically they're working with this creator program um, to help help grow their streams. They've been doing it for a little bit now. They've worked with like 30 creators and a few different mentors. Um, and it's just really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's really like positive, just great experience. And they've they've done so much to help the people in the program, like help them grow their channels. They've they've all had such nice things to say about it. It's it's been fun getting to hear them talk about it. Um, I have gotten to do a couple of these streams now, my sponsor streams. Basically at the end of our stream today, we're gonna raid one of those mentees. Um, <laughs> and and we're gonna get to go help support their channel. We're, I'm gonna ask you all to go follow them and stuff because that's kind of the goal um, to help them grow. But um, I'll tell you more about this person we're gonna raid in a little bit. But um, it's fun because we've gotten to raid a few of them now. And I, I feel like a lot of you have found like really cool streamers that I think a lot of you are gonna keep watching, you know? Um, and I just, I just really like that about it. I think it's really cool, just positive, great community building thing. And I, I just really appreciate AT&T doing it. So, um, all of that to say, thank you AT&T for sponsoring today's stream. <laughs> um, it's been really fun. Okay. We need to do some landscaping, but I'm not sure what I want it to look like. Um, I'm kind of struggling. Yeah, they know. They know that they're in included. <laughs> um, they're they're also sponsored by AT and T, so they, it's not like a surprise to them. Um, they also know that like they're gonna get raided on the days of the raids and stuff, um, which is a little bit different than normally how you would raid somebody on Twitch. But um, for the sake of the program, it makes sense. Um, but yeah, they they know that they're involved because they are also sponsored by AT and T. It won't be like a surprise. <laughs> We're not gonna show up and be like AT and T in their streams because that would be weird. <laughs> Uh, they also know that they're sponsored by AT&T, so, um, it's cool. Um, who are T and T? It's, it's A-T and T. It's, a it's like a, um, a company in the U.S. Um, so maybe if you're not from here, you're not familiar. We've got links in the chat. There you go. That'll help. <laughs> um, DJ, Charlie, Willow, Sam, and Butterfly, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know about this. I might get some rocks, maybe? Yes? I think that's pretty. I haven't painted the walls yet, either, because I've been avoiding it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, let me grab some lights. Put them in the front, too. We have to- oh, I didn't furnish the balcony yet, either. I guess we're doing the whole exterior kind of all at once, so um, that'll be okay. Should I make these like wider set off from the doors? Maybe? I don't know. Am I gonna get the new iPhone? No, I'm not gonna get the new iPhone yet. Um, I don't need a new iPhone just yet. Um, I have the 12, so I don't feel like I need to get the new one, but maybe someday. <laughs> Not just yet, though. The other thing is that I have, like, so many phone cases for, for this phone, so I don't want to, I don't want to, like, I don't know. I like this one, so. <laughs> I like this one. Um, okay. I feel as though, oh my, we need to get maybe, like, would some seating be good out here? Ooh, what if we put like a couple of chairs and then like a coffee table in between? That might be cool. What do you think? Oh no, not more chairs. <laughs> yeah, we're putting some more chairs up here. Um, Maybe a coffee table. That could be nice. No, let's use the one, wait, the one from City Living looks like it's got fire in it. It's like a fire pit, but it's a coffee table. Like that, that would be so nice. 
I like it. I like it. Um, smaller chairs, maybe? Oh, do you think it needs to be smaller? I kind of like the idea of it being a bit tight. Just for the hangout space, but that's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we could always put the, these down here and we could do- oh, I guess it's kind of tight. I don't know. Use smaller chairs. Do you think? Lights in the front are not symmetrical? Are they not? Those are. They're slotted to the same place. Um, I like it. I like these. Okay, I like the big couches too. Shelby, here we go with Jen. DJ, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. I think it's cool. Um, we just need to do some more landscaping around the place to kind of fill it all in, I guess. What if it rains? Okay, so luckily it's The Sims, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but also, um, if it rains, then it's totally fine because um, you would just bring the cushions in. A lot of people have, like, outdoor seats with cushions, but they bring the cushions in when it's gonna be bad weather. Um, it's... It's normal. Is it on Xbox? The Sims 4? Yeah, it's on Xbox. Um, if I could offer some advice, this might be silly because it's gonna come out really soon like this for free, but, um, The Sims 4 is gonna be free on October 18th. So, uh, they're making the base game free. It's, it's probably cheap and, like, on sale right now, but... They're making the base game free on October 18th. You know how a lot of games like Fall Guys and Fortnite are free to play and then you, um, like, in The Sims 4 you buy DLC, like, the Seasons Pack and stuff like that. But on October 18th, um, the game is gonna be free to play. So if you don't have The Sims 4 base game right now and you're thinking, like, oh, I might get the base game. If you wait a couple of weeks, it's gonna be free to play. Um, there's not a catch. Like, the game is gonna be free on October 18th. So, uh, I'm, my advice to you might be to wait a couple of weeks um, at this point because it's going to be out for free soon. Um, which I know, again, is annoying if you want to play it now, but um, you could save a little bit of money that way, so. Um, that is a pro tip for you. Um, there might be a catch. There's not a catch, Carolyn. <laughs> the game's going to be free to play. Um, the, the catch is that you have to buy packs, but like, you don't have to buy packs. You just can if you want to. That's the catch. That's how they're going to make your, their money. The idea is to try and draw in a bunch of new players by making the base game free and then hoping that those new players will buy packs, will buy DLC. Um, but that's not like a catch, I don't think, in the sense that it's like a negative for us. Everybody still wins. <laughs> like, um... So that's nice. Yeah, the new desert pack is also free right now. And that the new desert Lux kit goes away um, for free on, it won't be free anymore, I mean, starting on October 8th, 17th. So, um, but yeah, good to, good to grab that kit if you have The Sims 4. By the way, if you have The Sims 4 already, you all get the desert Lux kit for free right now as sort of like a thank you for people that have already owned The Sims 4 um, before it went free. So if you haven't grabbed that one, um, make sure you grab the Desert, the Desert Lux kit while it's free. Um, while you can. So. Um, oops. Oops. Little trees. I like that. I like that. Um, okay. What other furniture do you think we should add in here? We have to do the wallpaper. <laughs> Let me do that first. Okay, we can come back to wall to the furniture in a second. I gotta do wallpaper. Oh God. Um, you can play The Sims 4 on Xbox, yeah. Um, oh, or do you mean if you have it for PC? Because you have to buy it separately. Um, but The Sims 4 is on Xbox and PlayStation and PC. Um, and they're all gonna be free in a couple of weeks. <laughs> So that's important to keep in mind. Um, I don't know what to put on this. Uh, fitness, fitness, fitness. I like the stuff from the fitness pack. We use this inside. Oh, sorry. I don't need to yawn. I've had a, it's been a rough couple of days. <laughs> I haven't 
slept much the other night because the hurricane was coming. Not last night, but the night before. Um, I didn't sleep much because I was waiting for a hurricane to hit my house. Um, so. <laughs> Emote? Right. Okay. So, I don't think I'm gonna add in a moat. Um, I don't think that's for me. Okay, I think we should do like basically like two tones, I feel like. Um, and it should be, we can maybe even have some little, Oh, the fitness stuff brick is so nice. I really like that. We could do like some brick on one side and then like a stucco sort of vibe on the other piece. I think that would be good. Where am I from? I live in Florida, X. Um, I'm in Orlando. Um, okay, I need to do something with this to, I think if I like, no, okay, that's cool. So something that I do sometimes to fix this like half wall problem, you can put um, half wall like, like there, and then it lets you drag this all the way up to the top of it. So it still doesn't go all the way up, but it keeps going back down. So at least if we have it like, I, I did that over here too. At least if it's like partially, and then you can use the bracket keys to raise it up more. Um, super weird but it works. Um, all right, place that there. Now what kind of stucco should we use? No, I don't like that. Should I just keep the whole thing like beige? Look, it keeps getting rid of my stuff. Oh my God. I think I kind of like that though. What if we painted um, this area? What if we did it like black underneath the textured bit just for some fun? Sims 4 is not free yet. Um, it'll be free on October 18th. So it's not free just, just yet. We got a little bit of time to wait. Um, just fix it at the end. Yeah, fix the columns at the end. Or we might as well just stop trying to fix them right now, right? Because they keep going back, so. Um, can't see that texture anymore. Where? On this? Or on this? I think it's okay if the, if the, um, texture's only slight. That's what I wanted about it. Um, okay. I think I might do the pool in gray or something. Something like that. Yeah, Laura, I'm, I'm pretty sad about it too. I'm, I'm more so thankful that it didn't fall into my house because there were two trees <laughs> in my yard that fell that could have hit my house. The one in my backyard, that yellow tree was smaller. It's still a big tree, but it isn't as big as the giant oak tree um, that fell like from my neighbor's yard into our yards. Um, thank God that giant, I don't have any, I don't wanna show you pictures because it's the front of my house, but um, the giant oak tree fell this way <laughs> where the street is and not this way where our houses are. Thank God. Um, because that would have been really bad <laughs> if it had fallen onto our houses. Um, you know, they fell because of the hurricane, Tiny Fairy. Um, the, the strength of the winds cannot be understated. Um, and thankfully, my house didn't flood. A, a lot of flooding in Central Florida. I was saying in the beginning of stream, but I have never, never seen flooding this bad in Central Florida in my life. And I've lived here since I was four. Like I, I grew up here. I've been through hurricanes in Florida. I've never seen flooding like this in central Florida. Orlando has, I've never seen damage like this in Orlando since I've lived here. Um, it's really scary. Um, so I hope that all of you uh, that are in Florida are okay. Obviously it's a lot worse, not in Orlando, um, like down by the coast um, on the West coast, but it's just, it's just scary. So, um, thankfully my family is okay. So, okay, I might put a little door by, or a little thing by the door. I don't think I like any of those. Maybe I will use that one, I don't know. And we should get some 
maybe more decor for the outside. Um, Snap handled the storm just fine. My cat was totally fine. She didn't even know what was happening. Um, I mean, she could probably hear the wind and stuff, but she was fine. She didn't even react. Um, the, the most annoying thing to her about the storm was the fact that I made her stay in the bedroom. Like, I, I like, closed the door and kept her in, because I was like, if I need to go and hide in the closet in case of tornado in the middle of the night, like, I would like to know where the cat is. So I made her stay in my bedroom with me, <laughs> and, and I think she wanted out. I, like, brought her food and her litter, all that was in there, and I made her stay in the bedroom with me, um, overnight, and I think that was the most annoying part to her, so that's good. Um, <laughs> she did all right. She was fine. Um, she wanted out, so... Okay, um, we can put a little hose. That would be fun. Um, yes, sure, why not? Um, cats hate closed doors. That's the thing, she doesn't like, she wants to be able to, to roam and she wants to be able to see everything. Like, she, even when closet doors are closed, she has such a habit of like, because I guess she doesn't get to be in closets that often if the doors are closed, right? So my cat, when given the opportunity, it's like, oh my god, the, the linen closet's open? I'm going in it. <laughs> and she'll jump straight up into the shelves and like try and look around in the shelves of the linen closet. As soon as it's open, she's like, this is my chance. I want to see it. <laughs> and she'll go in it. <laughs> anyway, she's funny like that. Um, it is time to explore. Okay, anybody have any last minute, like, ideas for things to add into the house? I guess we could probably try and get some more, like, clutter, decor type stuff around. Let me, like, get a bathrobe. Um, a bathrobe might be a nice touch. I like that. Um, oh, I was gonna put lights in the pool. I literally painted the pool with the intention of putting lights and then I got distracted and didn't. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> um, that was what I was going to do, and then I got distracted and forgot to do it. Thank you for reminding me. Um, okay. I love how this looks. Go like this. I like how you can see it on the pool, like on the side. I just think that looks so cool. So we'll keep that too. Maybe I'll get some extra bushes back behind the house. The wall seems very empty. What, in the house, do you think? Litter box? Oh, we could get some stuff for some pets. I guess we don't have any pet stuff in the house. Maybe I'll put some things and we can pretend there's a dog that lives here. There isn't a kitchen trash can, no, because I didn't know where to put it that wasn't ugly. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Um, I didn't know where to put it that wasn't going to be ugly, so I just didn't. Maybe I could get a coffee pot in the house by the stairs in the loft. You think this is empty? This is gonna be empty. I'm not gonna put stuff up there. Um, we wanna have the walls be kind of sleek, like Bruin said. There you go. <laughs> Bex, thanks for the sub. Um, the trash can outside is right there. They'll be fine. Dishwasher on the island. Do you know what? I would, but it like, you can see it on the edge and that really bugs me. Like, d is that annoying that you can see it? I'd rather not have a dishwasher because you can see it on the end. You know? If you couldn't see it, it would be okay. We have a computer. I think I don't like it. We have a computer over here. Um, bedroom is lacking, seems kind of empty. Oh, do you think? Oh, that's not good. Maybe I'll get them like a guitar. They can have an instrument. There you go. Lamp on the headboard? Yeah, we had lamps before, but then I got rid of them when we got rid of the nightstands. But we have this new headboard, so we can put some lamps back. Maybe I'll get one like this. That's gonna float, but it's it barely floats. You can't really tell, right? Add a TV. We have a TV downstairs. 
Um, oh, we should get like a fancy light in the bedroom above the bed. I mean, I used this one downstairs and I liked it, but maybe I'll... We could use it again upstairs. Casual, or we could get a ceiling fan. That could be good. Oh, I kind of like that. I think the fan's good. You the fan? Oh, you don't like ceiling fans? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, sorry. I kind of like it. Um. Bathroom's good. A fan is a must in Florida. Yeah, seriously. Add a small bookshelf. We could maybe put, hang on. Does this change colors? Oh, that's better. Okay, wait, let me think about a small bookshelf then. And we could put some dog stuff in here. Yeah, that's true. What if I got like, do you know what? Even this one, I know it's like the simple base game one, but it's a nice bookshelf. It's wall mounted. That could be a fun touch. And then we could get a little dog bed. I need to get a little dog bowl too. Oh, we could put like two of them right here. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. I really like that actually. Adorable, perfect. There we go. That actually fits really well. Okay. Um, yeah, I wish that we had water bowls too. I so wish that we had water bowls, but alas, we do not. Um, all right, well, while I'm putting on some of the finishing touches on this house, have you all heard of at and I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you know that at and has the most reliable 5G network? Just saying. Um, <laughs> and did you know that AT&T customers with an eligible, I can't speak, with an eligible 5G device can get six months of NVIDIA GeForce Now priority membership? And there's a link in the chat to grab it. That wasn't very smooth, I'm sorry. I tried to, I tried to throw it in there, but I didn't do a very good job. Um, <laughs> but I'll tell you more about um, the AT&T Class 2022 program in a second, because um, in just about 10 minutes, I'm gonna get off stream actually. Um, and we're gonna go, ooh. Mm. And we're gonna go raid um, a friend of mine who is also uh, one of the AT&T class of 2022 mentees. Um, we'll get a chance to go over there and raid their stream. So I'll tell you more about them in a few minutes. I just wanna get on a few little bit more, um, little bit more touches, you know? And from AT&T here, there's probably people from AT&T watching the stream. Um, there's probably people from AT&T here. I don't know who. <laughs> But there's probably people from agency here. I would be very surprised if there were not. <laughs> so, hi. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> you don't need to type in the chat, don't worry. Don't, you don't need to, um, it's probably early for you. <laughs> but they're probably watching. Oh my God, sorry. Someone just mentioned something that reminded me earlier today. There was another spider in my house. Unsurprising because it's been like so rainy and miserable. Um, so I'm not surprised that the spiders have come into the home. If I were a spider, I probably would too. But there was another spider in my house. Sent a picture to my dad again. And I said, dad, what kind of spider is this? And he said, a dead one. Implying that it needed to be killed soon because it was a bad one. And he still didn't tell me what kind of spider it was. Um, which means it was probably a bad one, which is very unpleasant. Um, Send me the pic. I could, Tilly. I'll send you a picture later. Um, but anyway, horrible. Anyway, if I were a spider, I'd come in rainy, to say the least. Yeah, maybe rainy is a bit of an understatement. Um, it's, been, it's been a bit rainy. The weather's been a bit bad, you know, the past couple days. There's just like a little hurricane that came through. So it's just been a bit rainy recently. Um, that's all. <laughs> just a little bit rainy. <laughs> Just sprinkling a bit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh my god. Do I need anything else? I'm looking, trying to find any like last minute 
decorations that we could put in. I'm being really dramatic, but I want to get like every last little bit of cute stuff. Um, maybe some books. Honestly, some. Oh wait, we have this. Oh god, not that. We have this. That makes sense. And we can get some books too. Oh, we could put some lights along the path. I bet that would look nice. Wait. You think lights like along the path over here? Maybe like every other. Um, this is weird. I'm not really sure where to. Is that good or does it look weird? What do you think? Let me look at it at nighttime, it's better to see. That could be kind of cute. It's really dark by the pool. <laughs> so maybe we could try and get some like hanging lights if they fit. I'm gonna look at the toddler ones and then we can see how they look. Okay, I'll probably have to raise these up. Oh, they don't fit very well. That's annoying. What if I sized it down? Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll find out. I think it's still not gonna be exact. We have smaller ones from a different kit that would fit better, but I don't even know if I like that. But the other ones from the kit might... Hmm. We have these. So I could hang those up if I wanted to. But even then, it's like kind of dark. Why the early stream? Well, you know, I usually stream early on Wednesdays. Um, so today's Friday, we're here and it's a little bit different of a time, but I usually stream early on Wednesdays. Um, and so, and also today's stream is sponsored, so we kind of like fit into schedules with the, the sponsor stuff, so. Combination, but this isn't like a super abnormal stream time for me. Um, because I'm usually at this time on Wednesdays. I didn't stream at this time on this Wednesday. I streamed in the afternoon this Wednesday, but. Um, what are elevated messages? Do you know what, Oliver, they're a new thing. Um, they only announced them last night and I immediately was like, I don't want that. <laughs> and then I come on on Twitch today and it's on my stream. Um, but it's basically elevated messages is they're like doing a limited test for like the next four weeks of, if you've ever seen a YouTube stream, it's kind of like super chat where you like pay money and then it pins your message for like 30 seconds or whatever. Um, I really don't think I, I like the idea of it. So I hope their experiment fails. Sorry, Twitch, I'm on the front page, but I hope the experiment doesn't work. I don't really like the idea of it and I can't opt out. Um, but I don't know, I'm just not sure. It also seems really expensive to me. Like the pricing, it's like $5 for what, 30 seconds, but then $100 for two minutes and 30 seconds. So why would I not just buy the $5 one like five times? Like why would I spend extra money for two minutes when I could just buy 30 seconds for time? I don't know, I just like, it's really weird. I don't, I don't really understand it um, and I don't really like it. So <laughs> I hope it doesn't work. <laughs> um, it's upsetting to me that I can't get rid of it. I would like to not have it on, I think, um, but I don't know. That's, that's what it is, so. Um, that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna see about bringing us in here so I can change the lighting and then we can, um, upload it to the gallery. So the money would go to me. I think I saw it was a 70-30 split between Twitch and the streamer. Um, so you would like pay me 70% of that money for your message to get pinned. Was there an elevated message just now? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I agree with you. I hope it fails too, sorry Twitch. Wait, why did it? I thought it was gonna, there's been a few today. I can't see them. It doesn't show up in my, is it supposed to pin? 
Is it supposed to just scroll away in chat? It's underneath the stream? No, I've literally never seen this. I'm dead serious. I haven't- if anyone did one earlier, I literally didn't see it. It showed under my stream. Well, it didn't elevate it for me. I saw it in chat, but then it scrolled away. So what's the point? It covers my stream title? But then I can't see it. Oh, this experiment is bad. <laughs> this experiment is bad. It's not very noticeable. Well, thank you for the um, elevated message. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I, so I can't see it below my own stream, obviously, because I'm not watching my stream. Okay, so I'm sorry if any of you did it. <laughs> e, thank you for the $5 thingy. For the $5 thingy. Thanks so much. <laughs> Stellar Canadian Jenny J. Kiersey, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. Oh my god. We are really, um, this is fascinating. Um, no, I don't know about that one. I hope that they change it or get rid of it altogether. Um, you didn't see it in theater mode either? <laughs> oh no. Um, well. There you go. Um, there, does it work on mobile? Anybody know? Don't test it. Don't buy it. Don't, don't waste your money on it, chat. Um, seriously, don't. Um, okay, it's becoming sunny. Or is it not? I can't, there we go, it's sunny. Afternoon, no. How about 6 a.m.? No, it's just ugly lighting. Maybe I'll put it on the gallery. Oh, this has really been something else. <laughs> okay, well, um, Loft. Modern loft? I don't know. Um, well, as I'm putting this on the gallery here, we're about to get off stream. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit um, for one sim. This is ugly on the gallery, but that's fine. Um, but I want to tell you a little bit about our, about our sponsor, AT&T, and explain to you what's going to what's I can't speak, what's about to happen. Because um, in a couple minutes, we're going to go get to raid someone really, really cool. Um, I'm really excited about it. So basically, um, AT&T has this program they're calling the Class of 2022. It's like a creator program on Twitch that they're trying to build out. They've done a few versions of them. Um, they have like six creators in it each time. So they've had like 30 creators they've worked with in the past. Um, and this time we're a part of it. They asked me to be the mentor this time, uh, which frankly, I don't know if I fit in. I feel like compared to the other names, people they've worked with in the past, I feel like I'm maybe, I don't know, but I really appreciate them picking me. Um, it was really kind of them and it's a really cool opportunity. Um, but more importantly, um, it's a huge opportunity for the streamers that are involved because AT&T has this goal of helping to like level up their streams, basically help get them access to things like AT&T Fiber, um, Obviously, we're gonna go raid them and help to grow their channels. Um, they get a bunch of front page time. It's a really, really cool opportunity. Um, and they've picked some really awesome creators to be a part of it this time around. Um, so today, we're gonna go get to raid a, a friend of mine, a new friend of mine. I just met her, but, um, named Anel on Twitch. That's their, their Twitch username and their, their name. Um, but Anel is an extremely talented musician. Oh my god, you are gonna absolutely lose your mind when we get over there to the stream. Um, I am so excited for you to get a chance to meet Anel and their community. Um, also, she's got a snake, which is very cool. Um, it, we did a sponsored stream, or a, a stream on AT&T's channel like a month or so ago, where we got all to meet for the first time and stuff, um, and we had a chance to talk for a while before the stream, she was telling us about the snake and like, um, I don't know, she's just really cool and she's so talented. In the stream, um, they had her compose like an original song to perform in, in the stream. It was just so, she's so cool. So I think you're gonna love her streams. Um, please, please, please uh, make sure you follow me, get over there. I haven't started the raid yet, but uh, once you get over there, make sure you follow. Um, but I'm, I'm just really excited about today's uh, and getting to go and, and raid Anel. So um, I'll start that raid in a second. Thank you again, AT&T, for sponsoring today's stream. Like I said, this whole program is just so cool. They've worked with so many friends of mine in the past, too. Um, they've, they've worked with um, a bunch of simmers have been involved in the program in the past. So if somebody, keep joking, but like somebody at AT&T um, 
is a fan of The Sims. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna start that raid now, um, so we can go over and say hi to Anel. Um, please, when you get over there, please, please treat, please drop a follow. That would be so, so, so kind of you. Um, let's see if we can help uh, hit some follower goals and stuff like that. But I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm excited to see you um, and 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 watch the stream because I just love Anel. I think she's so talented. So, um, everyone, please go say hi. I will catch you all in just a little bit. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, say hi to Anel for me and and uh, thank you. All for watching. Please, if you want to drop a follow, please do. Um, thank you, at and I love you. <laughs> Line of Wishful and Scrip and Stellar and Canadian and JV and Real. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell it right now. Are we ready? No pressure. We usually put eggs in the chat when we get to people's streams that we raid. Um, but, oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it on a starting soon screen? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't go yet. <laughs> Oh no! Hang on, let me check before I before I end. I don't want to like run over there and um, do anything ridiculous um, before I before we are, are certain. Um, oh, there's a starting soon screen. Should we wait? Okay, maybe we should wait. Maybe we should wait. Um, <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. We'll we'll be back. We'll wait. <laughs> We'll rate Anel in six minutes. I don't want to. I want to make sure it's like the best rate it could be. So we'll wait until Anel is actually on. Um, <laughs> so what's for lunch, everybody? <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. This will be fun. Um, couldn't see the rate. That's okay because I canceled it. My plans today. Oh my goodness. So I've got a meeting in um, like an. What time is it? One thirty, I think. Like an hour. Um, uh, about my panel at TwitchCon, so that'll be fun. I'll talk through that. Not that exciting, but I mean, TwitchCon stuff's happening, so that part is fun. Um, and then after that, I'm going to clean up tree debris from my yard. So I have no clue how to deal with the tree that fell in my backyard. That one, that's, that's a problem for the professionals. But there's a lot of like branches and stuff that I can try and consolidate. Small things that like got blown off. Um, and aren't attached. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend some time after stream doing that, um, which will be just lovely. Um, just lovely. <laughs> yeah, my flowery tree is gone. I don't really know what to do about this. I have this tree, um, it's called like a trumpet tree or something, if you wanna Google it. Um, it flowers with these beautiful yellow flowers parts of the year. Um, well, it fell over. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's completely fallen over in my backyard. Um, part of it is still standing. It looks like if you were to, it looks like the storm, like, twisted the tree off. And, like, the top half fell over. It's, like, warped and twisted and, um, but the roots are still in the ground. But most of the tree has fallen over. So there's, like, a bit of a little twig at the top that's still there. Um, so... Um, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to hire a professional to come look at it and see if it can be salvaged. Um, I don't think, I, I mean, they're gonna have to cut off the part that fell. It's like, and it's most of it that fell. <laughs> so I don't know. I suppose, um, if it can't be saved and if it's going to die, I could always plant a new tree. Um, I don't know. But, <sighs> that's sad. It's not yellow year round, no, it's yellow parts of the year. It just has leaves right now. It's not flowering right now. Um, cut off from a rot. Me? I need to get someone to come look at it, because I can't do it. Um, so, what tree would I plant? I don't know, I talked about maybe, um, I've always wanted to get, like, a citrus tree. So, I guess I could put, like, a citrus tree in the backyard or something, but I don't know, I'll, I'll see if someone can come look at it. The other tree that fell, that fell from my neighbor's yard, kind of into both of our yards, um, that giant oak tree, she's gone. Her roots are, like, ripped out of the ground. Um, and thank god it fell towards the street and not towards the houses, but, um, but yeah, um, that one, that one cannot be saved. <laughs> that one's not gonna happen. Um, which is quite sad, but, um, it just, it just sucks. So, <sighs> at least everybody's safe, right? Um, I haven't been out of my neighborhood, Brew, so I don't know what's going on with the stores and stuff near me. I, I like, took a little bit of a walk to see what's going around, but I haven't, like, driven around or, or gone out to, like, the main road or anything to see, like, um, 
how everything is going around. I, I there has been so much there's been so much flooding where I live. Um, I can see flooding <laughs> near my house. I, I wouldn't try and go out and drive in it um, for a couple reasons. Even if it's not so bad that it wouldn't like hurt my car. It's possible that I could drive over some parts of it, but I wouldn't. You also don't want to like put a wake into people's houses. Like if the water is close to their house, but not quite, when you start driving through it, there's waves <laughs> and you don't want to like wake into people's houses. So I would know I wouldn't drive through the, the flooding. That wouldn't, that's not the vibes. So, um, but and you don't know what's under the floods either. There could be like down power lines under it and stuff too. Um, so just don't, don't go it. Don't go near it. <laughs> I'll be right here. I'll stay in my house. Um, so it's not safe, but, um, Dan's been here for a hurricane before, but it wasn't a bad one, Casper. He was here for Dorian, which like didn't even touch us really. Um, this one was bad. This, this one is in, in central Florida. What I haven't experienced in my life. This is the worst damage that I've ever seen in Orlando in my life. Um, so it's, it's been a rough one. Um, it's been a rough one, but um, ho hopefully people are going to be okay. My family is okay. So that's good. Um, but, oh gosh, Dark Trainer. Yeah, that's really scary. That's really scary. Yeah, there's a lot of flooding in Orlando, um, or guy. It's really scary. Luckily, my house didn't flood, but down the road it's flooded. Um, and I've seen so much footage of like flooded places. Um, the apartment building that I almost moved into near UCF, but instead of my townhouse, I almost moved to a different apartment building. Um, that apartment building got, like they had to evacuate it because it, it flooded. Like it, the whole downstairs is completely flooded. They had to evacuate people out of it. Um, so that's kind of scary. <laughs> um, but hopefully everybody's okay. I'm okay, that's what matters. My grandma's house is completely flooded, but she wasn't there thankfully, so you know. Um, just scary. Yeah, Fort Myers had it really bad, Kitty. That's the problem. The people by the coast, I, it, the, the footage coming out of there is absolutely devastating. It is so, 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 so scary. So any of you who are in Florida, I really hope that you're all right. Um, okay, well, um, I know I've been sat here rambling, but, uh, 17th and Jamie and Micah and Miv and Kat, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, it looks like our friend Anel is live now. So I was mentioning earlier, Anel is an extremely talented musician, just like the coolest streamer. You are gonna just love, love, love her streams. I am so excited to show you her channel. Um, we're gonna go over there. We're gonna start that raid now. It looks like she is live. I didn't wanna like raid in when she had a starting soon screen or anything, cause I don't wanna like um, mess with her, her plans or anything like that. But she's live now, she's on. Um, she's gonna talk to us and hang out with us for a little bit. Um, so that'll be the plan. That'll be super fun. Everyone, please, if you could go drop a follow, I would really appreciate that. Um, that would be so cool. I mean, usually I was saying earlier, um, we usually put eggs in, in people's chats when we, <laughs> when we raid. I have this egg with a wig emote. Um, if you have my emotes, feel free to use those in, in an L's chat or use favorite emote, whatever emote you have that you like, feel free to use that one. Um, and with that, my friends, I'm going to catch you all tomorrow, okay? Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, at and Okay, okay, okay. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> and stop streaming.